Um, okay, hi. Hello. I'm here. Um, I'm the worst. Hi, everybody. I'm, I'll never be ready. Don't mind me. There's a pile of stuff that I don't know what to do with. Um, throw it away over here. Um, how's your fri Friday? It is Friday. Yes. Hey, that works. What happened? Nothing happened. Leah, hi. Welcome. Paul is here. Yay. Christian, hello. And Bigby. Hi, hi, hi. Rules. What's going on? Um, yeah, nothing happened. I'm just never prepared. Ever. And I don't think I ever will be. Ever. I did run around the room trying to do like a like a quick company's coming over tidy up no no i'm not i mean i could i could keep the lizard lady and the butt i, I could keep them but 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 um but i could also not keep them they were kind of just there Just situating cords all over the place. All right, cool. We don't come here for prepared. This is true. This is true. Huh. I don't know. Do you guys want the lady, the lizard lady? Um, do you want the eye candy or do you not want the eye candy? If you want to make it a poll, you can make it a poll. Doesn't matter to me. I am here for all of you, and I, I, I aim to please. I like to keep people happy. So, if you want them, they can stay. If you don't, then they can go away. Whatever. No skin off my back. Um, just putting away one other thing. I'm gonna try and make a hat. Thing I have done before? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But whatever. Someone had asked me if I could make a hat, and I don't actually know if I can. So I figured we could give it a try and see what happens. Might be terrible. Might work out. Oh, I need to open that first. You were getting off the night when you went live. I was like, oh damn it! What if I ever need to make a hat? If I had a dollar for all the types I needed to make a hat. Did you stream today, Leah? How was your stream? I haven't been on my computer today, so like until now, really. So I, if you did, I apologize. I did not tune in. Okay, so that's up. We can come over here. Hello. There it is. Okay, cool. Um, you inspired me to try it off. <gasps> I'm such an influencer. <laughs> I inspired you to try Nos yesterday. I'm usually more into Monster. The Nos wasn't bad. Ah, yay. And you had like just the regular original one. Like, it's like a, I don't know if they even say that there's a flavor, but to me, it's like a mango-y, orangey flavor. I don't think it does. I don't think this one has a flavor on it because the other, the other flavors list flavors and this one's just like original or something. I don't know. Yeah, like a mango something. Cool. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that. Like, I know exactly what it tastes like, but it's a carbonated drink that they don't actually... it Like, they don't have it in this country. There's, um, the Schweppes Beverage Company makes this, like, orange mango soda. And that's what it tastes like. It's really good. Just chilling today. Oh, you did tons of housework. Kinda jealous. I need to do that. 
but I'm not not gonna right now anyway. Don't forget to vote in the poll if you have not. Every vote counts. One person has voted. Come on, everybody. If you, could, if you don't see the poll, refresh the page. It'll show up. Get, make sure your voice is heard. Every vote matters. It's true. Um, hmm, which way to go? Let's do that. That way it's not so difficult. What kind of hat is it going to be? Great question. I should probably like grab a photo of it. So then when people ask, I'll have something to answer them. Nope, wrong, wrong one. Sorry about that. Um, this is like the pattern, but let me pull up the page where I got it from. This is from like a random website. So we'll see what happens. Um, there's only one picture of it. <laughs> So, you know, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Let me add it in and I will show it to you. the picture that was on the website so it's like not like a newsy cap but kind of kind of like that so that's what I'm going for they literally only have this one picture on the website so I know like how it's supposed to look but I couldn't find any like simple straightforward patterns and so I found a website and their pattern seemed reasonable. So that's the one I picked. Oh, that's stupid. There was an alert for new house for sale and then I, it was some dumb thing I'd already seen. A fancy hat, is it fancy? I don't know if it is. It's supposed to be relatively simple relatively which well in here that doesn't necessarily mean much no five people voted and said no all right eye candy is going away they are way down here in the list where do they go oh right there okay they're gone just like that. So that's, yeah, the type of hat we're working with. Um, I guess that means cutting out the pattern. I'm gonna like use shitty fabric. I don't know if I have shitty fabric. I have some like random pieces of fabric that I've picked up here and there. So hopefully they're not nice because I don't want to use nice fabric for this. Um, okay. I'm just going to the page to see what we do first. Oh, right. So there's the outside and then there's a lining and you need usable interfacing, which I do have. Um, something about ribbon. We'll deal with that later. That circumference, that's not important just yet. Um, okay, so I got the four pieces of the pattern. The top part of a, will be printed on two A4 sheets of paper. You will need an adhesive tape to glue them together along the lines, having the mark of connection line. Is that a thing? Oh, yes it is. Yes, it is. Let me grab the tape and then we'll put these together. 
Junky junk man. Hi, welcome in. How are you this evening? Last time I, well, I have used tape before, but I don't know if I want to do tape or glue stick. Oh, wow. Thank you for that follow. I really appreciate that. Maybe I need to cut it and then, then do that. Cut them out, then connect them. This is definitely someone's homemade pattern. And not like the last pattern thing we made, which was from Closet Core. It was like a more professionally made pattern. All right, well, this is gonna be weird. Basil, what are you doing? What a little weirdo. All right, that's gonna be fine. I'm gonna do tape. You're doing great, excellent. I know, like, today is Friday. Is that Friday for you? Some people, it's their Tuesday. I should probably not do this this way, but too late. Excellent. Socks. Hi, Socks. Thanks for the hydrate. Cheers. Since it says everyone hydrate, and it doesn't mean everyone, what, like, what is it? What are you drinking? I have NAS and water, the usuals. Um, yeah, but what are, what's, what are other people working on? I have no idea, like, how big this hat is either. Not a clue. These are the worst scissors ever. I think they used to be sharp a long time ago. Not now. They've cut a lot of paper and plant matter. I use these to trim plants a lot. Aqua. I'm having some tea. What kind of tea? Like a black tea, herbal tea. There's so many different kinds of tea out there. These look like a weird pair of pants. Like, top and then like the two legs. Who actually replaces their cinnamon? Yeah, who replaces their scissors? Not me. I don't even have, wait, I used to not have nice scissors. Then someone took pity on me, I guess. And someone gave me a pair of actual like proper fabric shears. Damn, those are nice to cut with. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually used proper fabric shears until then. Maybe like when I was little and my, I would like help my mom do sewing things. And then she'd be like, use these scissors carefully. Don't you dare cut paper, blah, blah, blah. So I don't even remember that. But damn, if it's not like a hot knife through butter. Black tea. Oh, it's cinnamon. Interesting. Like, the cinnamon is part of the tea, or did you like put cinnamon into it afterwards? Like, some people put sugar in their tea, and maybe you're putting cinnamon. This is a very big piece. Cage, hi. How's it going? We're going to find out if I can make a hat, because you were the one who asked me if I could, and I told you that I don't know. So we're going to find out. You put the cinnamon after. Oh. Kristen, so spicy. But I guess, like, that's nice, though. It makes it, like, warm and stuff. I don't know. 
I, would, I don't know if I would have thought to do that. I know some people do that with cinnamon, but I'll, I'll just stop talking about it. All right, one piece is cut out. We are making it happen. I don't know. We're making good progress so far. The executive function hasn't completely shut off. The little ounce of it that I have hasn't imploded yet. And there's still time. Especially if we have to measure things and do all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a cinnamon stick. So we are learning together. Uh-huh. Group project. Find a friend. Just kidding. Or, or do. Do find friends. I love when people come and hang out here and then like leave having made new friends with each other not just with me basil's over here i left the other camera in the basement but if we really wanted to get crazy there could be a cat cam so it's the stick okay does the stick add a more subtle flavor or is that more intense than the powder Rain line. What is that again? I'm gonna pull up a reference and tell my remind myself what that is. Dan Wong, hi. How are you tonight? Welcome in. Great to see you. Okay. Vogue sewing book. Tell me what to do. I'm trying to remember which app has that book in it. Nope, I don't think it's in there. Entitled? No. Have the thing, but can't find the thing. Vogue sewing book, yes, but like within my files, goddammit. Hmm, okay, maybe it's in here and I didn't see it. I also drink black tea like they do in Turkey, boiling the leaves. So that's when you put the cinnamon in. That makes sense, adding it in when, when you make it. Um, I definitely had it opened in the iPad, so why can't I find it? Nope, don't know. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll find it again, but not right now. I'll just look it up on the computer. Really? I need to charge it. Okay. Is that the cat on the right? Yes. Right here. This is Basil. She's chilling. Hanging out. I guess we can kind of see her. There's some chin scratches. Hello kitty indeed. Let me plug this thing in so then it won't be in the way. Well, it would not be in the way regardless but it just it needs to be plugged in so
it's cool it's cool um because i have two of them so i can just swap it out super great thanks for letting me know i was not saying anything important didn't miss a damn thing uh, but i should charge this that's good to know whoa um, wait i think i have in here need more USB plugs. This is the new one. Yeah. Yeah. The Rode Wireless Go 2. So then it has, um, eh, hold on. So it has two of these little things. So then when one of them dies, I just swap it out. And the other one died really fast because I haven't been charging it. I had used it, used it yesterday and then some other time recently, but I didn't charge it. So it's not surprising that it died quickly. Although supposedly you can, not supposedly, but you can charge them while you're using them and I talked to somebody when I called road I asked them about that and they said the trick to it is that you have to plug it into like an external battery pack rather than just like a wall outlet or into the computer I guess because when you plug it into the battery pack then it doesn't give that feedback sound like before and I was skeptical but then I tried it, and the guy was totally right. So now we know that. What? What is happening? Why did that switch? Hi, Zell. You came in and you messed up my headphones. Just kidding. But your timing is a little bit suspect. Connected. Thank you. Zell, how are you? How how is your week been? Um, how's your Friday? What are you doing this evening? Etc. All of the questions I always ask. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that messed up and it got weird but better now wait is that like on fire is that like someone's version of this is fine i can hover over it and see what it says but i'm gonna wait to do that because i'm busy with scissors wait so that means things are not fine what's going on oh dear that can't be good. Okay, so this piece is done. And then this will be the last piece. Then we'll have to figure out fabric. And then iron it, I guess. gonna look really weird with whatever I've got for fabric. But that's okay. It's for science. I don't know what they mean by contour line, but okay. I broke your headphones. Yeah, you totally did. You totally did. Like, it flipped out and started the music started coming back through the speakers and I just look over and all you see is that your name popped up. So, you know, it looks pretty, um, it looks pretty straightforward. You walked in, things broke. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Going 
to mark so that I'm not like, there was something here, what did it say? Wow. Do you ever, like, for me, if I go like a long time without writing anything or holding a pen or pencil for any reason, then when I do try to go and write something, it looks terrible. I don't know what 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 it is or why, but like I have to like warm I have to like warm up my hands to be able to write legibly. That's pretty fucking sad. We're off yesterday and today. Oh yay! It's been balls to the wall trying to get caught up on stuff around the house and the shop. Oh, I bet. What kind of stuff were you trying to get caught up on? Did you have a lot of projects going on that were just sitting around or just like housekeeping things that, well, when you're gone all the time, they get neglected? Okay, missile. Um, okay. I am intrigued as to what she found. Um, yeah, she sent a thing on Discord. She's like, I found a gif that's on par with the la lady lizard, lizard lady, whatever. Curious what that is. Um, okay, so we did this. Let's check the guidelines. We tape those together. All details of the cat pattern are given with seam allowances. 7 to 10 millimeters. Where is my fucking... No, it's not over here. I just cleaned up that spot. Okay, I need my ruler so then I have, like, reference for how big anything is. Here it is. 7 to 10 millimeters. So... Um, a centimeter-ish. Okay. Make it metric. I can do that. The pattern of the visor contains a pattern of plastic liner that's used for inserting the top and bottom part of the visor. Okay. So they're saying use plastic to make the brim of the hat. And like, wear it. It's like a cool visor. So fashion. Remember, like, it was like, I don't know if it was like in school or maybe if it, maybe it was like the make it, take it crafts at the library after school or like vacation Bible school especially liked them. But you'd get like that thin foam, the like sheets of foam, and then they'd have you like make your own shitty visor and you'd like decorate it with puff paints and stuff. Awful. And they always had like that coiled up like rubbery stuff for the um i don't even know what you want to call it to hold the visor on your head what are you going to use for the brim i'm not sure yet because this is a prototype um maybe just cardboard i don't know i figured that was kind of a tackle it when i get to it type of thing but of course like what the fuck is that like a truck backing up in my driveway like a huge huge truck anyway um but yeah assuming this goes well and is a success then i could of course for the real thing use a much nicer material to make the brim you'll need to cut a strip five centimeters wide and 59 to 60 centimeters long okay depending on the circumference the head. Okay, but what is that for? What is that long strip for? All cat pieces must have fusible interfacing. Okay. Only a long strip does not need to be double. What long strip? Hi, 1010. Welcome, welcome. Toilet seat cover. Yes. I'm trying to make a hat. 
because someone asked if I could make a hat and I told them I don't know. So we're gonna find out. What's going on with you tonight? All the list of neglected things around the house and the shop. Mow the grass. Take the trash to the dump. Handles in hammers. Make a slitting chisel. I don't know what that is, but okay. Make a punch, make a tool rack. Organize things in the shop. Put up the lights. Pull the wire for the forge. Finish the apprentice's forge. Oh, nice. Add brackets to hold for fire breaks on my forge. Put up a gate, finish a grill. That's just what you can remember doing. So wait, you did, did you do all of that today? That's too, that's too much. Or you're like the most efficient person in the history of the world. I don't know what this long strip is that they're talking about, but okay. I guess we will find the fabric. I need to like write down these steps so I don't like lose track of what I'm doing and then bad things will happen. Preparing some files for laser cut. Nice. What um what kind of things are you gonna laser cut? Dog heads, what? Or what? Is it like your own dog or just generic dogs or what? Um okay. We're gonna pick the fabric. We'll press the fabric. Um, cut the 60 centimeter strip. What was it? Six, 59 to 60 centimeters by five. And then trace the pattern pieces. And then add the feasible interfacing. Um, fuse together. This pen's gonna die. That's fine. That's enough to get us started. Just then, I know what I'm doing. For another streamer, she paints them to look like ornaments. And she does photorealistic painting from their photo. Huh. She sends you the outline and you cut it from a quarter of plywood. That sounds kind of familiar. Mm, can I, may I ask who it is that does that? Um, uh, okay. Fabric. There's a lot of random shit. Fabric wise to choose from. Um, let's see. There's a bunch of stuff in this box. None of it is going to be like an ideal choice. But, you know, this is like super shitty fabric. Canvas. I feel like this might be a good contender. Even though it's not a lot of fabric, but it's something. And from just using scraps, because it doesn't matter, then that's probably a good option. Yeah, we can also do potatoes. Potato hat, right? Which is why I picked up this piece of this fabric, because it there's not very much of it. There's two layers, but it's just this. Like, there's two of these, but there's not so much. So that's probably also a good choice. Stripes and potatoes. That could be fun. Mm, I'm, I was gonna use, was, I'm planning to use this to patch um, a different pair of shorts. There's a hole in the leg because people pay money for their clothes to be pre-ripped. And inevitably, that that's how the thigh ends up like ripping out so i'm gonna fix it 
and try and do a good job of that. You mash them, you fry them, make hat out of them, right? You can't go wrong with potatoes, ever. Yes. Oh wait, there's also fabric in this bag, but this is like canvas. That's all different canvases. Okay. So then these need to be pressed. Or actually, let me make sure we have enough to do these things in the first place. Um, K. Yarkum. That doesn't sound familiar, but that's okay. I will check that out here in a minute. Ooh, ooh, it might just, just fit on here. Because if this already includes the seam allowance, then that would just barely fit. So that's cool. Because um, this is not going to be wide enough. But we can still use the potato for other parts, I think. Yeah, that's not wide enough, but the stripes can work. Here's an example. Okay, awesome. Let me open this page. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's pull up the example. Oh, I see. That's really cool. Those look really good. Um, let's see. I can pull that up here to show everybody else. Not that people don't have their own browsers and cannot click on things themselves, but you know. Here it is. That looks so good. It took me a minute at first to figure out like, well, I knew it, like I knew it wasn't part of the picture on the tablet and then she picked it up, but like it just looks really good. You've done 30 to 40 of them, huh? Does this person like live near you or something? Or like, I guess I'm just not sure. Like why would they not do it themselves? Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. And then if this will fit on here, oh, but that's gonna be potentially tricky. Or not, or not, it'll just, it's just barely gonna fit, okay. Oh, it's really cold in here. She lives in New Mexico and most people don't have a laser cutter. I guess that's true. Huh. Where do you live, Ten Ten? I, I don't know. Maybe you've told me. Maybe you haven't. For some reason, I feel like you live in Ohio or something, but I really have no reference point. <laughs> I have no idea. But that's what my brain is defaulting to. Oklahoma. Okay. Okay. Um, but yes, thank you. Maybe you have mentioned it. I don't know. I was born in Oklahoma and I lived there until I was like four. Um, I can't do this this way, so it's just gonna have to be weird. There will not be pattern matching. Here's a hundred bucks for each of those? Jesus. That must be nice. Hmm. I should press this. Tempted to not do it, but I think I'm gonna do it because that's the right way to do things. Laser cutters are expensive. They take up space. They basically just charge for materials and shipping. That's nice of you. 
So then how much do you make from like, if you cut a, I don't know, do you do them in like batches of 10 or like, that is one way to support a streamer. That's absolutely true. And that's very nice of you to lend your, I don't know, your services, your abilities, your resources. Yes, to lend your resources to do that. I don't want to iron on my desk, but I have to iron on the desk because my small table that I normally would use is still in the basement. So we're just, yep, we're going to do things whatever way they will work. Hmm. Will there be a way to plug this in? Good question. Um, shit. <laughs> oh, I can. I'm gonna have to climb under the desk and unplug a lamp. But it's fine. It's fine. That's gonna be super annoying <laughs> if it takes longer than 30 minutes. Because the iron will shut off. Okay. Fantastic. Very high tech. Very high tech. Working with what we've got. You bought my I bought my laser for my own hobby. Sure. You never really wanted to make a business out of it. What kind of things do you like to laser cut? Like that's the thing, like people have these um machines or whatever you want to call it. But like and I know laser cutting you can make pretty much anything. But what kind of things do you laser print? Or laser cut, whatever. Oh, I don't know where my spray bottle is. Hmm, that might also be in the basement. For no reason. Well, that'll be tricky. ironing goes much faster with steam and I don't like actually putting water in my iron I guess I should reconsider since I may be doing some leather cutting oh that's cool I've heard that smells terrible in a laser cutter oh right the fancy clocks oh you got to make cases for them nice that makes sense. I have to go get the spray bottle. Sorry. Um, I don't want to just leave this on. I'm going to run this battle that I forgot about. And then um, I'm going to go grab the spray bottle and I'll be right back. All right, cool. But it's fine. I still have my microphone on so everyone can hear me. It's almost like I'm still there. Too terribly painful. Well, don't go use the bathroom. Ask me how I know. Oh, yeah, I've heard. I think the stream when you did that, I think I came in like right after, like right after you realized it or something. Priceless. I'm like really paranoid about making that mistake. So I, um, I'm very aware of it and I'm just terrified that I'm gonna make that mistake. Oh, 
There are probably like some quest that I'm supposed to do. Barbarians. Okay, that's very doable. What is the peace sign for? Here, and that's fine. Cool. Fax, thanks for the hydrate. Are you trying to, are you trying to say that you want me to forget that I have the microphone on? Rude. Okay, we have the spray bottle, so let's, let's, um, do the thing that we came here to do, I guess. I don't fucking know. One day, if we are ever able to buy a house, I will have room, and I won't be all cramped like this. And I won't be, like, ironing on my computer. Holy crap, it's after 11 going to bed good night so thank you for stopping in and for being your amazing awesome self i hope that you will be able to make some time to relax at some point during the weekend because you have definitely earned it but yes good night sleep well This one is like super creased. Maybe the iron isn't hot enough. I don't know. It's looking a bit better. I'll probably do the other side. Does that matter? I don't fucking know. But it matters to me. Yeah, because I can still see the creases on here. Sorry, Basil. She left. She hates the spray bottle because I have definitely used it to punish her for doing something bad. So, she is pretty quick to peace out when it comes up. I'm really looking forward to when we play Jackbox games because I am determined to play Devil and the details this time. I think it's going to be um, a lot of fun. Probably a shit show, but also a lot of fun. So much yelling, I can't wait. Dandy streams, hi! Hello, welcome in. Nice to have you with us. Good morning from the southeast, like... Southeast United States or Southeast World, where it's already tomorrow. Now that we have a voice, yes. Now that we have voice chat. Now that we have voice chat. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. It's just going to be chaos and I'm, I'm so ready. I might try and make it work on um I might try and make it work on like a Saturday cuz I mean I could do it on a Friday too. I just know like Capulli said Fridays and Saturdays were best for him. And I know he can't always make it, so I like to try to pay attention when people are available at certain points. My mom told me to iron the clothes last night and I didn't do it. Sorry to my mom. Well, 
I mean, I don't iron my clothes unless like there's a very extenuating reason to do so. Okay, so we've got this. I'm really tempted to put the interfacing on it first and then cut out all the pieces. I don't know if that's better or not. I might try it. While I have the ironing board out, I think it's worth it to try. Uh, let's see. What is this? Crisp iron on backing material. Okay, but is it interfacing? What's this? What's this? I wish I knew the rest of that song. From the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, okay, yes. This appears to be the thing. There's some sheen on it, so it is iron-on. That's not iron-on. Uh, okay, neither is this. Cool, but we have stitch witchery. If this is also not it. Stitch and tear. Uh, oh, that's stabilizer, which is also not what we're after today. This is interfacing. Okay. I know what I'm doing. It's a good thing that we got the spray bottle. Okay. Chaotic voice or yeah, absolutely. Clyde is here. Hi, Clyde. Day 65360, hello. How to pronounce that W. How are you this evening? How are things? Ooh, this is like, oh, it's enough for the potato fabric. I'm kind of sad. I want to use the potato fabric, but there just is not enough of it. Let's see if this is a better fit. So yes, there's a fucking something, a gnat or something flying around. Anyway, we're making a hat. We're going to find out if I actually possess the ability to make a hat. Because it seems pretty straightforward, but nothing ever is. So we're going to find out if it is possible in my small table that I normally use for ironing. So in the basement, so so that's why we are ironing at my computer desk. Fell asleep on the couch after you had dinner. Way to go. It's that whole not eating and then eating too fast and then you fall asleep. Um, okay, so we spray it and then we press. Did you at least have a good nap? Mm. I mean, assume again, assuming that this goes really well, I guess I could always just make sure to get actual usable interfacing before making the real hat. Right. But yes, what's um what are people up to this fine Friday of summertime? This is probably not the way to do this. Cause I will instinctively make things far more complicated than they need to be means I'm probably going to put far more stitch witchery stuff on this than I need to. Who cares? It's just going to be like really secure, which checks out because I always use like way too much packing tape. I'm packing up a box to mail or something. Nap with 610. We set a timer so you didn't sleep till midnight. Is the 
setting the timer what made it only a six or was that unrelated? So this huge piece. Yep, I'm gonna do what I was planning and I'm just going to keep adding this every couple inches. Good work. What about everyone else? What are you doing tonight? Baby, what are you doing tonight? No, there, okay. And then like one more, because I think that piece comes out a little ways. And I think I might have the scrap that fits in here. Plotting things out for August, what? What kind of things? I got a group meet up in August with a few out of towners. Are these like friends you're catching up with? Are these like, a, I assume not family because you would have said family. Um, what kind of group is meeting up? And I assume it's not a literal meetup group from meetup the website, right? So now I'm taking off all of these strips of a iron-on adhesive so I can line them up this way again not enough space in this room that, that way yes that way do 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 Yes, the timer is definitely related to the six ten because he could have slept longer. Fair. Sometimes it'd be like that. I mean, you could have slept longer, but then if you had slept longer, would you have woken up at like three or four in the morning and then been annoyed about it? Or would you have slept all the way through and woken up at a supposedly reasonable time like eight o'clock in the morning? My stomach is growling. Just a little bit. I ate a bowl of cantaloupe earlier. Maybe that's, I mean, not maybe. Like, obviously, that's not enough, but it happens. Okay, I think this is too much. Too much. It's fine, though. So, we'll just line this up. Okay, line it up, spray it, press it. Voila. A few friends from the Discord group I've been involved with since May of last year. Nice. What, um... What kind of Discord is it? Is it for like a video game or board game or some other topic that's super secret that you don't want us to know about? Or I'm just, I'm asking because I care. I'm interested in your life. I do, if I didn't care, I would not ask. Guaranteed. I would have woken up at 3 a.m. and probably tried to be productive or post in nightclub and see who is up. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. That's happened to me the last couple of days. What? Christian, what's happened to you the last couple of days? Aside from your internet being shit. Like you've been waking up at weird times? A Patreon supported indie band from LA. That's really cool.
That was my stomach. I don't know if the microphone is picking that up or not, but yep. <sighs> well, if you if you think that anyone might like the music, you're welcome to like tell us the name of the band or drop a link to one of their songs or something. But if you don't want to share, that's also completely okay. We're going to put on those other bars. Adhesive. Fox, why peaches? I mean, you know it needs a reason for peach can emotes here. But I was just thinking like maybe you... Maybe there was a sentiment in mind with that or something. I don't know. I always need context. Let's face it. Mm, yep, that'll work. You fell asleep super early and then sleep like six hours until three to four a.m. Huh. I wish I could do that. I used to do that before I was taking medications and now I don't, I don't hardly nap or anything. Almost never. All right. I kind of want to add the interfacing on the rest of this. Like I'm going to need to, but I want to make sure like how much of this we're going to use there there was when I did it what hmm cage what there was what when you did what unless you type something before that I was to have noticed that I didn't notice because your name is the same color as other people's if so I'm sorry That's going here. And then I guess this can go like over here. Where's the other piece? There it is. And then I guess this will go over here somewhere. Okay. So we're not even going to use the whole page, which is again fine. Is this oh that's going to be it would be nicer but not on this fabric because we don't have space for that so okay cool I don't know if I even have any cool stories I've done like nothing the last few days Oh, jeez. I did this and then I was like, wait, how far is it going? I can eyeball that. No, I fucking cannot. I absolutely can do no such thing. Holy shit. Stomach, shut up. Okay, so that's going to go out here. I will... Does my pen even work? This one does. Okay. So. To the end of the white one. Good enough. All right. So we'll just keep adding. I know this part is the boring part because obviously like the sewing part is more fun to watch and stuff well you can't get there without this part I mean you can but it just is better to you know cut things out the way you're supposed to blah 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 blah, blah. I don't know where I was going with that just don't listen to me
or maybe my mind is just blank because my stomach is growling. Also possible. Cade, what were you trying to say? I want to know now. Paul, never apologize. Stop it. Stop it. You never owe me your time, but you do owe me a um explanation not explanation you owe me a um telling me what you had for dinner <sighs> have you only eaten a bowl of cantaloupe yes sorry for apologizing <laughs> i should get a snack i know i know i will look into that uh once i iron these strips on here Like, there's a plan to, like, get pizza, like, later, and then, um, yeah, like, that's the plan for later, to, so, like, order it before they close, and then it'll get here, but we're not going to eat it right then, and then, whenever I'm done streaming, we'll heat it up, because the last time we did that, it was so good, like, the pizza, in from reheating it in the oven, it had the most perfect, like, just a bit of crispiness. And it was like the most perfect crunch on the crust. And I don't generally like a crunchy pizza crust, but it wasn't like, the crust was not crunchy, but there was like just a little bit of crunch when you bit into it. I don't know how to explain it, but it was amazing. So, so the plan is to try to recreate that. What do you get at Panda? Lo mein, fried rice, what kind of fried rice? Orange chicken, mushroom chicken. That sounds like something I would eat. Broccoli, beef, a couple egg rolls. I don't remember the last time I have been to Panda Express. It's been many, many years. And my nose is like, I'm not cooperating. It's trying to run everywhere. Okay, so this piece should, wait, this one is already fusible. Okay. Um, maybe we'll just do that. We'll just put it on top. And then, oh, I can cut these parts and use those afterward. I just like to use as much as will fit nicely yes that'll be okay cool section at a time but it'll be there that doesn't make any sense just just go with it we actually don't have a microwave so everything that gets reheated at my house gets reheated in the oven, which I'm totally fine with. I don't, I don't think I ever want to own a microwave ever again, which is one of those things um, that like you tell people and then they get really like judgy about it. And they're like, oh my God, you don't have a microwave. I can't believe you. And then they'll be like, how do you make this, that, or some other random thing? And you're like, in the oven, duh. Or on the stove. Apparently it is just so unheard of. Um, let's get those nice fabric shears. Since we're cutting some fabric. Oh, that's gonna fuck that up. Okay, snipping the scraps. It just, like, there's no resistance. It just cuts. Oh, it's beautiful. Excellent. I barely use mine, too. I have it because getting rid of it seems wasteful. Yeah, I mean, 
the one I did have, I think I sold it. I sold it to somebody for like 20 bucks. Like a friend was moving into a new place and they were like, oh, I need a microwave. So I was like, please take this one that is in storage at my dad's house that I haven't used in years. And then the townhouse that we used to live in had like, there was one there on the counter that as part of the like included appliances or whatever. So once we moved here, we couldn't bring it with us. And then there wasn't one here. So we just didn't buy one. We looked at a bunch and then we were just like, these are all dumb. I don't want one. Cause then while we had been taking our time to find one, we had been using the oven and then we were like, let's just keep doing this. All right, so this goes on the black stripe and that's on the white stripe. Okay, what a great band. Are they? I don't know. We went to California several years back and stayed with a friend of my wife. I believe that macro has caused cancer, so she didn't have one. I found that I'm just way too impatient to go oven only. You know, I thought that, but it's really been completely fine. But like, I get it if you have kids and stuff and they're like, no, I want chicken strips right now. But like, obviously the kids are not the boss and it shouldn't go that way. But like, I get it. You need the thing, you need it to be cooked faster. I get it. But I just, yeah, I haven't found anything that tastes better being cooked in the microwave and so like part of the um, motivation for keeping oven only is because like after having some things reheated in the oven and how much better they taste i would not go back like that was part of it, it was like these things taste so much better when you use the oven i don't want to go back there phrasing is difficult Okay, so then I can also take this strip, put it down here to cover these edges. Oh, I should have done that underneath. Fuck. Maybe I still can. Nope. No, I cannot. Too late for that. Oh, well, it's fine. and some water. I'm pretty sure my sister is also the type of person who thinks that microwaves cause cancer or whatever else, but my my decision to not keep microwave pads nothing to do with that. I can I can reassure you. I even use deodorant with aluminum in it. It's like I'm asking for cancer. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah, that sits nicely. I like it. it a final press and then we'll trim the excess and continue on our way oh well i'm glad i got it because the iron has shut off so it doesn't matter not perfect doesn't matter not climbing under there to um turn on the iron again at least not at this stage I should have really um, probably run the interfacing over the entire rest of the fabric, but I don't necessarily know if that's going to be wanted or whatever I end up using the rest of the fabric for. So that's why I didn't do it.
Excellent. All right. We're still, I think we're still working at a pretty decent pace. For me, anyway. Yeah, so there's this excess. We'll see if it ends up actually being excess. And, yeah, I kind of do want to trim that. I wasn't sure, but now, you know, I feel like I do. But also, also I feel like the um, adhesive didn't bond as well. I don't know if that's because the iron was shutting off or if that's because of the iron on adhesive being old. Which means I have to turn the iron back on. Okay. I said I wasn't going to heat it up, but I did. And I'm going to wait for that for a minute and we'll run this thing, get that taken care of. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> trim some of this while we wait. Oh yeah, this did not. Basil, what the hell are you doing? Oh, just playing with cords. That seems safe. a little piece that I just cut off. Thought I threw it away. Can't find it. Awesome. Here it is. Huh. I did throw it away. But I need to cover this little space. So I think we can do it that way. there and there wow i clicked on that before sorry those 200 gold arlie kittens congrats on your 200 gold that's a lot for this game doesn't happen often. It's also supposed to be the loyalty chest, which should be like rewarding people who hang out more. And I don't know. I don't know if you have joined us before. Um, oh, I was supposed to place barbarians. Let's do this because I really like the dove. Arlie Kittens, oh, thank you for the follow. I guess my alerts are showing up, okay. Um, thank you for that, that's so nice. Welcome in. What was I do doing, not doing, thinking about doing something, I don't fucking know. Okay, I'm gonna iron these in place. I know I'm supposed to get a snack. But the ironing must happen first. This piece, this piece, I cut some other little small piece. Where did it go? Who knows? Okay.
then, oh, I see. I see what I did. All right, okay. Okay, I'm figuring it out. It's like those tangram things. Or, let's peel that back. Get it in place. That will work. This way. And we need more. Cool. Is anybody like working on anything while you're hanging out with me? Or not? I don't know. If you are, tell me what it is. Let's try that. I think that should work a bit better. That's going to be like right on that line, but it should, I think it should be okay. Then it's like, oh, then there's a random triangle, so you gotta cover the triangle. It never ends. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> have you had any edibles tonight? I have not. Not yet, anyway. That was part of my plan a little later, like an hour. Uh, yeah, like in an hour or so. Why? Here's playing Take It to Ride on Steam. I still don't understand how that game works, but it's okay. I know you've posted like videos and it's my bad for not watching them. I don't know why I'm like this, but whenever someone posts like a YouTube link, <laughs> Most of the time, I just can't bring myself to click on it and watch it. I just find it exhausting. I don't, I don't know why. But if there's something I really want to know, sometimes I will end up on YouTube to find out how to do the thing or whatever the information is that I'm looking for. I always procrastinate watching the links. Yes, that too. Or be like, I'll watch it later. I'll watch it later. Will I though? Probably won't. It's nothing personal. I just, I don't know. I just, YouTube is just not for me. I don't think. I procrastinate watching the links and I watch a lot of YouTube. Uh huh. Like I had, a, um, when I was like, oh, I made a YouTube channel, which everyone should go and subscribe because subscribing on YouTube is free. Um, I was like, okay, first thing I will upload is clips and I will do a clip a day. That seemed like a good goal in my mind. Did I do a clip a day? Fuck no, I didn't. I remember it randomly, which is usually like before I go to sleep or sometime when I should be doing anything else. But then that's, that's when the things have gotten uploaded that are on there. Okay, so I think these actually make sense now. 
I'm gonna leave the spots if there's a little bit of overlap like over here, that's okay. What kind, I mean, I was gonna be like, what kind of things do you watch on YouTube, Christian? But I know, I know you do a bit of everything. My partner watches a ton of YouTube and he watches all sorts of things. Usually like video game related things or like retro tech, retro games, retro games, retro tech, a lot of that stuff. Um, or like documentary type things about how people live their lives in other countries and like just random stuff. Okay, so this is done. That's great. What is next? I should check the list. Somebody's gonna yell at me that next is a snack. You press the fabric. Oh, I'm supposed to cut a strip that's like five centimeters by 60 centimeters. I still don't know what that piece is for, but okay. A lot of video essays about dumb internet stuff. Like what? What kind of dumb internet things? Five centimeters by 60 centimeters. What is that? Five centimeters. Oh, that's like for a binding. Hmm. Maybe that piece is out of potato fabric. That could be because I don't know if there will be enough of the stripe fabric to do that. Yeah, Cage, I think it is um, to go around the head. What about Neopets? Neopets and Gigapets, those were the same thing, right? The Tamagotchis, those were all the same, right? Um, this ruler is not going to be what I need to measure that number. I think that's only inches, correct. Okay. Tape measure. Oh, this also only has inches for crying out loud. Neopets was online. Was it? Oh, I don't know. I didn't like live here for that, so I got like a couple of gigapet things so I I never like fully caught on to all of it. <laughs> okay so um I guess ruler it is 60 centimeters is going to be more than what I've got here. Or not. Never mind. That's 30. Then I have to see if we can actually afford that much fabric because I've already measured out everything and it wasn't clear again what this piece is for, but yes, for going around the head. A two hour one about homestuck. What is homestuck? Learning so much already. So this goes here. There's that other piece. Then, how did I do this? Um, oh, maybe I went like that and that. So yes, the um, potato fabric will get used. At least some of it will, and that's fine. Wonderful. I might as well trace these while I um, while I have them here. Oh, I really want to like temporary adhesive. But maybe we just do clips instead. I need like a jar for all of these clips. 
like a nice jar someday. Jeez. Homestuck has a webcomic with a crazy fandom. Oh, okay. I've not heard of this, but that's not surprising. I live under a rock. I never read it and I watched it because I've always been curious about if I missed out on it or not. Chris has let him out of Mountain Dew. How will you survive? What if you just didn't drink Mountain Dew? What if you drink like water instead? It's good for you and it's delicious. What would happen? Or are you just going to go get more Mountain Dew? You live under a smaller rock cage. It's not a competition. Oh, friend, it is, there is no, it is not a competition for who lives under a smaller rock. I don't even know if it's necessarily a good thing. I just know that I get a balance. But I have to like find a careful balance between like being able to get through my own life and deal with my own shit and then worry about the problems of the universe. I drink water in between you. Oh my gosh, I'd fall asleep if I didn't have it. Do you have fucking narcolepsy or something? What do you even? Although if the, the Mountain Dew actually keeps you awake, then no, you don't have narcolepsy. This one will be tricky because these clips don't, they don't go that far. Fuck. These had a longer arm, slightly, that would be nice. But they do not, so we we'll work with what we have. Yeah, that'll be okay. Water is not for drinking, it's a cleaning chemical. Blasphemy. Water is delicious, I love it. Cats like water, but I don't think it's good for humans. Get the fuck out of here. Mountain Dew is a cleaning chemical. I believe it. You can clean. What is it like? You can clean your toilet with Coca-Cola. So you probably can do the same thing with Mountain Dew. Or like in school when they had you. Um, what am I trying to say? You would like soak the chicken bone like a drumstick. In coca-cola for like a week and it would like make the bones all bendy like decalcify them I wish this pencil was sharper bad uh, there's not a better way to hold this in place Mountain toilet. <laughs> Our stomach is on the way to the toilet, so it seems like a good cleaner. What the fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. Everyone is high except for me. Okay, got it. Or at least Cage and Clyde are, and I'm not. That's okay, though. So this is like... I feel like this is not making an accurate outline. And I would like precision. Because you have to like draw really hard with this pencil. Ah, no, this is not good. 
What lines are we at here? I'm gonna use a fucking pen, like an actual pen. Ow. Ballpoint pen it is. Ma Wait, what? Really need a vertical stand for this freaking desktop. I don't, what, what's gonna make it blow up? What? Cage, what is the issue you're having? You really throw those at us out of left field. <laughs> it's hard to keep up. Okay, so. Glue, glue, glue stick? Glue stick. I guess. Or the temporary adhesive. This is for fabric. Shake well. Hold the can away. It says to dry clean it. Fuck it. We're just gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna do this one, but I'll do these two. Why not? Wigan is a kitten. <gasps> he says on my fan. Post pictures in Discord right now, please. Cage, you only showed us like one of your cats. So you you're very overdue, friend. Makes it overheat, but if it's warm and made for sits. If warm, why not made for sits? I think that's how it goes. It is pretty adhesive. Now I can actually trace them. If I had a vertical stand, you wouldn't sit on it. Cats love a warm square sit. They do, they do. Basil is really, she is especially good at the like, oh, it's a square or a rectangle. I must sit in that space. Fiona, mm, less, she is less drawn to it, but she's still, I don't know. She just doesn't do it as much. But that's because Basil is a real cat and Fiona's a full-on human, so. So, yep. Why is, like, ballpoint pen not marking? I need a marker. This is better. Go around the outline, outside. Maybe I'll try the friction pens. I used to write with them and then I became like anti-friction pens because um, I, didn't, I don't like that over time they fade. So like I took all these notes in medical terminology and filled up like three thick notebooks. And then later, I went to go back and review my notes from earlier in the semester, and I couldn't do it because they didn't exist anymore. But if I'm using it for marking on fabric while sewing, that's actually an advantage. Well, and this I tried in three. It's supposed to come with the stand, which I assume someone could 3D print one. Oh, for sure. Since the plastic stand, MSI doesn't sell the fucking thing separately. That's dumb. It can totally be 3D printed. If you find a 3D printable, I will print you one for free. <gasps> yeah, do it. I would I would also volunteer to help look for that if if it's not easily found. I have done I still have never 3D printed anything, but I have done some scouring on the sites that have the things. I keep thinking this is an actual ruler. I keep thinking it's my like Six inch clear ruler. It's not. It's just printed on there. The ruler is a lie. I was looking for like 3D printer designs to find to get like um 
the scrap catcher for my serger. Because there's a spot there for one, but it didn't come with one, like when it was new and everything. But there's some people on Etsy who make them for Baby Luck machines, so I could just buy it from them. I don't mind supporting people. It's like some lady's husband, she's like super into sewing and she posts about it in one of the Baby Lock groups. Yeah, the tracing part shouldn't take this long, but I had difficulties with the whole, you know, marking utensil side of it. And I'm also like, I was getting all concerned about like, oh no, it might bleed through and be visible on the other side. Ah, but it's a fucking prototype, who cares? The guy I bought this one from lost the stand. How do people lose shit? I don't like, I don't understand that. But I also understand that I know I keep track of my things apparently more so than most people. Maybe that makes me weird. I don't know. Oh, uh, wait. Grain line. That means that's where it stretches, right? Affection Warlock. Hi, welcome in. Nice to meet you. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing in here. I paint minis, not so. What is Baby Lock? Baby Lock is, um, so I use the tag for minifigs because I do, I do things with miniatures. Not all the time, but it does happen in my stream. Um, Baby Lock is a brand of sewing machine. Um, they are a top tier brand. They are very high quality machines. And the name Baby Lock comes from um, like an overlocker, overlock machine. Um, but they were the first brand to bring overlockers to the home sewist. So they created like a baby overlocker. So it was Baby Lock. And for whatever reason, that stuck and that is the brand's name. Um, so affection affection warlock yeah i do i have done minifigure painting i've done other miniatures sometimes i do sewing sometimes i do cross stitch or crochet or furniture restoration or i did a pool stream last weekend sometimes we play video games i do everything i'm always down to make new friends if they find me in some unconventional way well, it'd be weird to not have that happen. I'd say that only because I don't do things conventionally. And also because I'm just rambling. So again, disregard. Don't listen to me. We're tracing the pattern right now for making a hat. Cascade asked me a while ago if I could make a hat. And I said, you know, I don't know. But I am willing to find out. Yes, I will get a snack at some point here soon. I didn't realize that's why he gave me a discount until I got home and found it was missing the stand. That's so shitty. Like, I don't know. I don't understand how you miss, like how you misplace things like that. Oh, that's super cool. I used to sew with my mother when I was a kid. So I just clicked in here to reminisce a little. Oh, that's lovely. What kind of things did you sew with your mom? My mom definitely helped me learn how to sew when I was very young. Like one of my earliest sewing memories at least of machine sewing was my mom helping me make 
a um a stuffed animal like alligator or crocodile thing for my brother for Christmas. It was made out of felt and it was definitely not great, but that didn't really matter. It was green, like a, like a darkish green and then like athletic gold. Cause I guess those were the colors we had. And I think my first hand sewing memory is make, Oh, Jesus, that's stuck to my arm. I was making like a little mini quilt. There was this lady, mom of one of the kids in my class. This is, again, living overseas, so things were kind of weird. Um, but she was really into quilting. So they had her come and like show all the kids how to make quilts. So we each made a little like, I don't know, like 18 by 24 inch quilt. But it was all hand sewn which was something because when you've got 15 kids you can't really have sewing machines for everyone at least not in that situation okay i think that looks pretty good Gives the measurements in the specs, but I can't find a print file anywhere. And to make a prediction while you're gone, get a snack to see if we can guess. Wait, to see if you can guess what? Oh, she's super into blankets and most things are random things. Also repairing clothes for the family. That's a good one. That's a very good one. I have clothes that I need to repair, but who's got the time? Whether it's a baby bell or not. Wow. What's wrong with baby bell cheese and pears? It's a fantastic snack. Like you can't go wrong with it. I won't let you down. I don't know why I said that. It probably would let you down, but that's not how food works, so. Okay, did that, did that. I need to, we need to make the piece with the potatoes. We fake the fabric. We pressed the fabric. We traced the pattern pieces. We fused them together, added the interfacing. Um, and that's going to be potato fabric. Oh God, I can't write. This is atrocious. Um, and add interfacing. So then once we've done that, then we can piece it together. Mm -mm -mm. Holy shit, nobody, nobody read that. <laughs> Yikes. Baby, thank you for the lurk. Ah, oh, Warlock, thank you for the follow, yay. Welcome to the garden. Um, I'm gonna, oh, this battle's gonna go in a second. So we're gonna do that and then, then I will get a snack for real this time. For real, real really real not for fake okay what is this thing ancient snow wisp okay creation of light and old magic ancient wisp deals powerful damage and slows enemy attack speed upon death this remains enchants its slayer, greatly increasing their attack and healing their injuries. I mean, I guess that sounds good. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, Warlock. Great choice. We have a lot of fun. We have a very vibrant community of people who like to hang out and I guess talk to me about weird shit while I'm doing weird shit. Um, if you're into Discord, we have a, a very vibrant Discord. That's really what I meant. Like, we have a pretty active Discord with lots of great friends there. We have fun. 
I'm just trying to figure out why I have a bunch of missed calls for no reason. I see a stand on eBay for a hundred dollars. That's stupid. Don't do that. Um, Cage, if you post in Discord what the what the thing is that the stand is for, if you post that in Discord in the live stream channel, um, I'd be happy to help look for one or look for the 3D printer file. Recycle that shit, you a hole. <laughs> what? What are, but he's trying, I guess they're trying to recycle it by reselling it. Do you think it's not worth as much because it's made of plastic? How much of a discount did you get on this thing when you bought it? Is this like the stand for a computer? I'm, I'm just, I don't have any reference point of like what the, the stand is for, etc. So on and so forth. Subterranean chest, what? Let's go that way. Yeah. We'll post more info in Discord. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, oh. The warlock. I don't know if you were going to join us in Discord or not. If you choose to, that's great. Um, all you have to do is you'll be sent to the pronouns channel. So all we ask is that you set your pronouns there. And when you do that, it'll give you access to the rest of the server. Um, I'm going to run an ad and then go see about a snack. Just so people know. All right, talk amongst yourselves. I will be back very shortly.
Okay, I came back. And yes, I am eating baby bill cheese because that's what I've got. Um, I need to order pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Weird, but okay. All right, pizza happening. That was in the lunchroom chat. I didn't see that. Apply coupons. I wonder what kind of cheese Baby Bell is. I hit it, okay? Somebody's coming over, you gotta speed clean and hide things, duh. Um, I guess we could use that. Expiring, oh it expires in January. Maybe, maybe we don't worry about that today. The fucking cat. He is running laps around the house. Rearranging the hallway rug. Ow. She'll figure it out. Oh, well then take her up and throw her in here nicely. Pancake, hello. How are you? I'm ordering a pizza real quick, so yeah. What? Oh, hmm. there was a discount of six dollars, but then I undid the discount by leaving a better tip. Okay, I see now. What is? We're gonna go for it. Hope your Friday has found you well. It's fine. Fridays are just kind of another day, but I mean, it makes other people, I think, in better moods, so that's enough for me. It's been a decent day. I haven't really done anything, but it's been good. I've been in a really good mood all day, so that's nice. 89 to 99 minutes. Do we want to do another, like, over, under on the pizza delivery? Um, sure, I was gonna get it. Hydrate, okay, can I hydrate after I eat the next piece of cheese? And this is another one of those things, I guess like the NOS, that like, I don't, I don't really ever eat this except for when I'm streaming. I might eat it sometimes like if I'm studying or doing schoolwork, but that's really it. Don't want people thinking that I like snack on cheese all the time. I really don't. What? Are you Instacart and shop and deliver? Oh, I used to do Instacart. I, yeah, can go all day on that. Shop and deliver, and some people think we're just pizza delivery. I know, it's infuriating. Pizza guys get $5 tips all the time. Sometimes they only get $2. In Instacart, you're lucky if you do get a tip. How much cheese is too much cheese before a date? I don't know. That depends on what... That depends on the person or persons involved. There's nothing wrong with snacking on cheese. Everything in moderation. It's true, the pizzas don't even make the pizza. Yeah, I did Instacart when it first opened up here. 
Jesus, like four or five years ago now. Um, Cause I, my very good friend, she was living in Denver at the time and she had been doing Instacart in Denver when it, from when it opened and she made so much fucking money. She was the number one shopper in the Denver area for ever, ever, ever. No one could be faster than she was. So she shared me some of her secrets, but whatever. Um, yeah, at first it was great. I made a ton of money and then they were like, just kidding. Here's a massive pay cut. So I did it for maybe about a year and then it wasn't worth the money anymore. I do it still, but I only take profitable orders. Right. And that's the thing. They are so few and far between. I don't care if I wait all day. I'm not making below minimum wage when I'm working. And that's smart. Mm hmm. That's how I was at the end, too. Well, even in the beginning, I wouldn't take non profitable ones, but like in the beginning, they were all profitable. And I got $25 an hour when working, then you do have some downtime. I mean, if it's working for you, then that's great. Where, maybe I've asked you before, Pancake, whereabouts are you located? I don't remember. How long have you been doing Instacart? And is that your only, like, gig job or like if do you do other work what do you what's tell me about your situation now that you now that you've brought it up no mm, you fucker your food is on the floor go get it no you can't just climb on everything no can't take her anywhere No, that's not for you. Not for kittens. Alright, pins. I guess the pins will go up until I put that part done. You live in Alaska? That's awesome. I live in the Matanuska Susitna Borough. Okay. It's not my job. It's my play money fair. We do it in the evenings, sometimes full-time weekends, depending on how much I bought on Amazon. Yes, the fun money, fun money um, source, a source of that. That's good. County. Okay. I have no frame of reference of where that is in Alaska, but that's okay. I have some friends who live in Anchorage. I, I think that's where they live. I'd have to double check. I'm pretty sure they live in Anchorage because her husband is a professor at, uh, I don't know, is it just like Alaska University or something? I'm terrible. Eat your food. It's right here. You can do it. Have your food. These cats, they only want to eat out of the other one's bowl. Maddening. North of Anchorage, okay. They, yeah, the municipality of Anchorage, okay. Don't have counties, just territories. Interesting, interesting. All right, so the next thing to do was the potato fabric. Let's cut these out and then we'll do the potato fabric thing. There's a plan. I wonder why, I mean, I know why it's territories, not counties, but it's because, um, because it's like, there's so much undeveloped land, which is okay. There should be more of that. Can you do leather refabrication? What do you mean by refabrication? What is that? Broke my car heart belt after 13 years. You need it restitched. Oh, what kind of stitching? If you post a picture in Discord, then that would help me out. I'm a very visual person. I mean, I'm not a leather worker. I haven't um, tried tried that yet. <laughs> um, but I do, I have done some things on belts. I have a couple of leather belts that I've had for many, many years because, well, they last forever as long as you take care of them, so... 
I might know stuff about it. At the buckle. Oh, is it like, I don't know, that like folded over piece that like hold, I can't even illustrate that. It's just stitching. Okay. I, I, I'm still going to need a picture so I know what you're talking about. Why is my nose trying to run? I don't understand. It was fine all day. Then I went for a walk and it was hot as fuck outside. Super humid. It was like 85, feels like 94. So I went for a walk anyway. And then I came home and had to take like a rinse off shower because it was just so gross. And then my nose was running. No idea why. I feel like this is coming together relatively quickly, but maybe I'm delusional. I feel like it's coming together relatively quickly for me, which is kind of saying something. That's like still a slow pace for anyone else, but for me, I think we're making good time. Let's get the other side of this. Where should I put pics in Discord? Um, in the live stream chat channel for this instance would be great. Because, like, I know this happens to other streamers too, but, like, while I am streaming, I know what we're... I, I usually know what we're talking about. I don't always, but I usually know what we're talking about. Um, and then after the fact, I won't have a fucking clue what we were discussing. So putting them in the live stream chat is helpful. It gives me context of like, what is this? Where did it come from? When did we talk about this? Yeah. It's also a great place. Like if somebody makes a clip, throw the link to the clip in that channel as well, etc. And if there's just like relevant stuff for the current stream, it all goes in there. All right, two pieces are cut out. Now for this one. Guess we'll try this way. Not try. Do or do not. There is no try with cutting fabric. I kind of feel like I should have used the temporary adhesive. But I'll just be careful, and that'll be that'll be adequate. Mm, I guess if I go that way, and then I go this way, that should put us in a good place. I'm always worried that like no one's gonna be able to hear me because I'm used to having the desktop microphone, but I have this microphone, this microphone. So now, like, even if I talk really quietly, you can still hear me. And I forget that because sometimes I have a habit of speaking quietly. So I just, you know, there's usually no reason to shout. Unless your microphone doesn't pick things up. Let me know when you've got that picture up and I'll go take a look at it. Oh my gosh, come on. Getting there, slowly but surely. And I think two pieces. Wait, does that mean I need to cut out two of these? Did I fuck this up? I probably fucked this up. Yep, I made one of these. There needs to be two. God damn it. I did, I did the thing I normally do. <laughs> Someone came up with a name for that, and I'm not going to repeat it. Because that person is not here, and so nobody else will know. And this is just one piece. Okay, that's cool. 
why do I do this? Like every time I don't ever cut out enough pieces the first time or I don't like use enough pieces or whatever first. I never do it right the first time. That's what I'm trying to say. At least hopefully it's always entertaining. Maybe that's what we should take bets on now, like going forward or something like if I start some project and it's a sewing related project, we should start taking bets on like, will I, won't I cut things out right the first time? Because I'm pretty sure the answer is never. Fairly certain anyway. And that needs to be farther down. Okay. So we may actually... Oh shit. We might end up using the potato fabric more than I thought. If there's not enough striped fabric for... Um, those other pieces that I forgot. I guess I will check Discord because, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Incoming belt picks. Okay. Okay, so it is like a little tab thing. Oh yeah, just sewing that. That would be easy. That's an easy fix. Pancake, your belt is an easy fix. Oh, you could even do it if you're into different belt buckles. If you like cool belt buckles, I'm a fan of cool belt buckles, then you could replace it with snaps and then you can change out the belt buckle. No, oh, you don't like cool belt buckles? What? For shame, for shame. But yeah, that's that's an easy fix. Um, you just need some thick, um, not twine, like thread for leather, and then an appropriate needle, and you just sew it back. T-shirt, jeans, no frills. I am also the same. I am the same. Um, but so there are some belt buckles out there that are like works of art. I don't mean like a big Texas rodeo cowboy belt buckle. God no, ew. Flare. Belt buckles can be flare. It's true. It's true. I don't know. I mean, I figure it might as well be interesting or be something I enjoy. Why not make things just a little bit more fun? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming you don't want to mail your belt to me because that would be absurdly expensive for what it is. Um, there's definitely like a wiki how of how to do that repair. I will, because you posted that like in Discord in that channel, it'll be easier for me to remember later and then find the reference for you. Oh, little string. There we go. I did it. I did it. Just don't see the point to it. No one's looking at my belt buckle. You are. And somebody might look at your belt buckle. You don't know. Or if you had a cool looking belt buckle that like had some color on it, then somebody else might look at it because it like catches their eye and then be like, hey, what's on your belt buckle? Could happen. Could lead to something good. Or could just make your day interesting. I don't know. I wear belts the other way around, so all my buckles look upside down. Wait, what? Why? What do you mean? I used to like wear my belts off-centered. Like, remember for a bit where it was really cool to like have the belt buckle on the side or in the back? Except when you had to go to the bathroom and then it was a huge pain in the butt.
Plus this belt holds memories. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. If it has memories, then that's okay. You don't have to mess with that. I will respect the sentimental part of it. Okay. Kristen, I'm trying to understand what you mean about wearing your belt the other way around. They can go through either side of your belt loops. Do you make it that way so it's upside down on purpose or it just happens that way or what? Okay, so I need two of these and two of these and I have one of each. This will only give us one of these. Oh, that's gonna be wasteful. I should have made two of them right here. Bummer. Oh well. Oh right, grain. I didn't do the thing with the grain. So that means this way. The grain goes that way. It stretches that way. So, I mean, I kind of did. Did they say to cut on the grain or on the bias? Great question. I don't know how to explain it, like the tail points in the other direction. But like what other direction? I think it's relative. Like how some streamers reverse their camera so they look like they do in front of a mirror because they look better that way. Is that a thing? I always make it so that you can read things like so that you guys can read things because if I was watching someone's stream and they don't have it mirrored, it drives me nuts because like that shit shouldn't, I shouldn't have to read words backwards. You do it that way, oh, because you're left-handed and it comes naturally. Of course, that makes sense. Okay, you just do it wrong and you need to go straight to jail. <laughs> what? My belt tail points to my right. I'm gonna go get a belt so I can figure this out. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's figure this out. No, only their face cam. That's super weird. That's just like unnecessary. So it points to the right and that points to the left. So. Then you'd be doing it that way. Like that. I'd see, I do mind whichever. I do mind whichever way, but Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Because if you do it this way, I'll just put it up here because then you could see. So if you do it that way, then the belt buckle is upside down because the rainbow's upside down. Then if you do it that way and the point goes to the left, then it's right side up. Okay. I really had to like do that, <laughs> figure it out. Sometimes it's like that. Just go the other way and you don't buckle it upside down. No, he said he did because then he said the buckle is upside down. Put the point to the left and loop it. What do you mean loop it? Point to the left. Like, what do you mean by looping? Thinking inside out. You don't go to jail. <laughs> Wow. What do you mean by looping? Because if you have it up here, well, obviously there are no belt buckles, not belt buckles, there are no holes up there, but like, oh, through the belt loops. Yeah, that is normal. Through the belt loops is kind of the way, I think, because what else would you do? But this is what I meant by like having a cool belt buckle. See, look, it's so awesome. And the camera doesn't like to focus, but camera, don't be shitty. There, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that's better. Or it was. Don't be shitty, camera. Anyway, this belt buckle, it's the best. 
sometimes it's worthwhile to make things a bit more colorful. Weird, like that's on my license plate. Um, oh, here's what I was saying as well. So on yours, um, pancake. So on the belt, I guess we'll do it this way. So if you're wearing the belt, you would do it this way to um, fasten it, whatever. Um, but on this one, you flip it over, the part on yours that's broken, on mine, it has a snap. So you can just undo it and then move that thing if you want to. But it makes it easy to change the belt buckles. That's why my first thought was like, hey, wait a second. This could be the beginning of a whole new world for you. My license plate holder just swears I'm shaking no good. My license plate holder is from the dealership where I got my car, but I wanted to, ch I wanted to find one with like birds on it, but it's really not a priority. But my license plate says colorful. And then some numbers. Don't like large belts. That's fair. Plain Jane, but a guy for sure. Glad we have had this in depth. Um, I don't even want to say discussion, but like, um, I don't know. I'm glad we talked about belts. <laughs> Okay, so I need to do two more pieces. Don't let me lose sight of the goal. I'll write it down. If I don't write it down, I won't remember. One more each of the two smaller pieces. Scribble, scribble. Um, okay, so. One more of this, one more of this. I can fit this on here. I might just, I'm just going to do them both out of potato fabric. That's, that's what it's going to be. Which means turning on the iron again, which means climbing under the desk. My fucking favorite. Just kidding, it's not. Oh, wait. These are going to have to be done this way. Okay. So we can make that out of one potato fabric and then I'll have another left over. Um, actually, hold up, hold, hold on. Mm, no, so we'll still do that that way, but I was just wondering if I can do that. What was it five centimeters by 16? Ruler, ruler, ruler. I have a lot of interests, but I hate when people are really interested in what I am. That's fair. I can relate to that. I don't know why. I just want to do it myself. I don't want input. I hear that very much. I'm not an asshole. I just like to learn on my own. And I definitely do not be mean to them. That's fair. I can relate to that for sure. Like if I'm doing something, I don't want someone to come in and tell me about like how they would rather do it, but it happens a lot. <laughs> especially like, especially when I do furniture restoration on stream, um, people, dudes, men love to come in and be like, oh, you should do this or that. They have no fucking clue. They have no idea what I'm doing. Kapuli. What? Aren't you like asleep? Or maybe you just woke up. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thanks for the resub. That's so nice. I have a heart. Thank you for that. Um, you're taking out the dogs for a ball throw session. Excellent. Have you posted your dogs in Discord, Pancake? Please post dogs in Discord. Just woke up. Well, good morning. How did you sleep? Oh man, and I catch myself mansplaining sometimes. I hate when it happens. Yeah, but the fact that you're aware of it means that you can always strive to improve. So you're at least on the right track. And that's really all we can ask for. 
for some reason I woke up this early. I guess I slept well. We don't feel tired. That's nice. I woke up at like 11.30 today. And I was super tired. And I went back to sleep for another three hours. Just how I was raised, church and all, preaching to the choir. There's a lot of us here who were raised in the church. My parents were missionaries. I was in it deep. But I get out. I learned about the world. There's hope for all of us. My upbringing was like that. Clyde's upbringing was like that. I think there's a few other people too. I like the fabric with the theme of potatoes. Potatoes are the best. Now I realize that this is a literal potato fabric. <laughs> and not a sewing term. I didn't know. Is that what you thought? You weren't, oh, you weren't here. You got here late. Yes, you weren't here when we were picking fabrics. And I'm just using like fabrics I don't have very much of. And I've got this potato fabric. It's literally potatoes. And it's really amazing. I love it. Um, but I only have like two pieces of it, so it's going to get used in this project. Yep, it's literal. There is no like sewing method term that, no, that's not it. Okay, plugging in the iron. Ow. My other power strip is still in the basement. <laughs> so I'm climbing under the desk like like something I don't know so now you'll make a potato hat yes it will be potatoes and stripes so it's gonna be like these two mixed together very exciting let's do this thing that no one reminded me about so we'll press this then I will put the interfacing on it then we'll mark it and cut it yeah i don't um i don't like doing like the exact same thing that someone else is doing but my very nature is to go against the grain so that's not surprising at all You have the like autistic Aquarius Gemini Leo thing happening. It all makes sense. It's cool. I think astrology is fun. I find it very amusing. But I don't put like a lot of weight in it. Now it's my ramble about nothing. You're welcome. Ooh, nice. Vent tokens, 50, Jesus. Six orcs, okay. I don't have five. Huh. Upgrade. This, yes, yes. Do all of them. Why the fuck not? Okay. Wait. Now what? No. Different thing. Go here. Do this. Cool story. One, two, three, four, oh, five. That's why. All right. Sorry about that. I don't know why I'm following or anything. It doesn't matter. Mm, potato hat. Yes, potatoes and stripes. At some point of our lives, we have all dreamed about having a potato hat. Yes. Absolutely. There's a few other ramblers here. Are there? Are there? Where? Okay, so interfacing. Wherever the fuck I put that stuff. Oh, I think it's under the ironing board. Mm hmm. I'm surprised nobody wanted to take bets on the pizza. Like the time, the pizza timing. Okay, so now. Yeah, 
And it goes here. This will go this way. If this were fusible, that would really be so much easier. I just... I don't know if I have that. What is this? This is... What is a stabilizer? Too stiff. Hmm. What the fuck is that? Um... That's also stabilizer that's cut away. Not enough room. Okay. Ooh, what about this? So many random things. So I pick them up because I will use them. That's not going to serve our purpose. Are you serious? Just dumping things behind my other desk. Don't mind me. Okay. Mm, and I don't think there's any of that in here. Oh, well, there is a little bit, but that is stabilizer. So, okay. Back to the plan that was already in progress. I do. I said 60 minutes. I make a prediction thing. Maybe it doesn't make sense for betting on time. <laughs> what? Um, I mean, if Christian wants to make a poll or if Bigby wants to make a poll, then you're on. There's also a channel point redeem for suggesting a poll if you really feel that strongly about it. I think Snowy is onto something. This twice baked pizza thing. Cage, what makes you say that? Like, I agree, but what, um, what makes you say that? Oh, never mind. No bets. The pizza just arrived. Uh, I think I have to go deal with that. Do we not sign? I don't know how this works anymore. It's okay. I'm channel point poor after the last poll. What was that even about? I don't remember. Because Little Caesars is better after the oven the second time. That's fair. That's fair. Um, let me go check the door. Um, yeah. Uh, the long dark versus day of the tentacle. Got it, got it. That's a weird poll to drop all your points on, but you do you. Um, I'll be back in just a minute. You've spent 25,000 points on that one poll. What the fuck? What did you even vote for? Oh my gosh. Y'all are nuts. Glad to know people have strong opinions about anything, though. Because I swear, when I ask for input, it's like worse than pulling teeth. This is going to take forever and ever and ever to do it this way, but it is what it is. It's what I've got, so I'm going to make it work. Sorry, my setup doesn't really like show my face while I'm doing this. My other table 
that I normally use for ironing is still in the basement. I've just been like going down there when I need something and bringing it up then. I haven't like gone downstairs and done an official like, okay, let me clean up the basement. Because I'm terrible. Plus cleaning up fucking sucks. It's really not so bad. There's not really much of anything down there. But there's definitely still a pool down there and it has water in it still. And the duck and flamingo float are still floating around in the water. I'll get to it. But I'm also hopeful that the dehumidifier in the basement might just eventually um, evaporate all the water. Is that realistic? Probably not. But like eventually maybe, right? The tentacle game. Oh, cool. so Cage voted for Day of the Tentacle. That's nice to know. See, I like that game a lot. I think it's tons of fun. But I don't know. Some people don't like cartoons. I'm not even really big on cartoons. I just really like that game. Peaches for you and peaches for me. Um, uh, yes, Clyde wanted the long dark. I was going back and forth to keep it even. Are you fucking serious? You must have been really bored. You must have been very bored, sir. Please get a hobby. <laughs> Just kidding. Totally kidding. I know you have hobbies. I thought it was two different people spending points on that. Wow. Like Owen Wilson, wow. Um, okay. I guess, yes, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Throw this over here. And then I'll just lay these strips down and then place that over all of them once it's where I want it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad this potato fabric is such a hit. If I knew that, I would have gotten more of it. Oh shit. Maybe, I mean, if I looked, I'm sure I could find more potato fabric. The question is, what would we possibly actually make out of potato fabric? Like, what would you, what kind of item or thing would you want to have that has this potato print all over it? I think the only thing I've seen made with this fabric ever, I didn't make it, but like somebody else had this fabric, was like some like pocket thing that you're supposed to use in the kitchen to, um, to like microwave potatoes to make baked potatoes. So it was like a potato pocket thing. And it's like one of those weird, like kitschy, shitty things that people make to like sell at a craft fair on the sidewalk and literally no one buys the stuff. But I think my aunt made it and she was like giving them away at Christmas or something. And you're like, thanks. What the fuck am I going to do with that? A potato sack, I guess, but it's like, it's not burlap or anything. And potatoes already come in bags. For the most part, unless you're buying them loose at a farmer's market, in which case maybe you'd want a bag, but I don't know. I'm clearly not the market demographic for this fabric, unless I am. I don't fucking know. Potato shorts. Oh, that would be really fun. A potato sack, but this is a potato sack for the elite fair. Those boomers who made those craft fair things used to buy that shit because there wasn't anything else to buy. Anyone under the age of 50 has access to stores. I guess so. Potato bikini. Again, that's another great idea, but it's the wrong fabric. It's not like a swimsuit fabric at all. 
but I like these, that these wheels are turning and people are coming up with really great ideas. Does this have a right side and a wrong side? Potato shorts. I think that could be super fun. Gonna have to try and remember that, meaning I will not remember unless it gets put in Discord, but that's up to you all. Like, just like comfortable shorts for like hanging out around the house. Potatoes. Potato is life. So like, why not celebrate it? Why not celebrate the best starch? Then I'll have to cut another piece, see at the other end. I wear a hoodie with that pattern on it. Okay. I mean, hoodies are usually made of a different fabric, but that's okay. We're not discriminating right now. We are just brainstorming. Uh, hmm. This might backfire a little bit. I hope Carl's enjoying his vacation, visiting his mother. I know that was random. I don't know why I thought of it. I do know why. Uh, what? Oh, you said pattern, not fabric. True, 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 true. Thank you for pointing that out. A face mask for a Mexican show wrestler. <laughs> His name was Senor Patata. <laughs> the um, luchador mask with potatoes. All right. All right. I dig it. Okay, so that will go there. And we need just a little bit more to add on to this end. Just gonna uh, iron it and then cut it after. I say after I sprayed it. Yeah. Hmm. I should probably do this a different way. Get me trying to efficiently use these materials. That's weird. I don't generally do that. But want to because I think this strip of interfacing is going to be the right width for that um, 5 by 60 centimeters strip that I need to make. Still think it would be really awesome if I could attach my ironing board to the IKEA cart that my serger lives on. Again, not as random as it seems, because think about these things while I'm using the item. Okay, so that's there. Let me measure that. Ruler, ruler, ruler. Where did I put it? Well, oh, I've lost the ruler. So that's it's fantastic. Oh, it's right here. Now I get it. What? The wrestler would be called La Papa. And he has a he has a Pope hat made with a potato fabric. Turns out that Papa means both a potato and the Pope. What? Is this like specific to like Mexico Spanish or what? I don't know. Christian, is that true in other Spanish or not? Not that you know like every kind of Spanish, but... But you have more insight on this than the rest of us. 
Mm, I don't want to cut more of that mm, to deal with. Ferris ruler, ruler, ruler. Everybody's so clever right now. I love it. It's true, but wrong pronoun. Oh, yeah, L la la is feminine. So L papa, yes. But you had you had the right idea. Still, it still works completely. It's alright. I've never made a mask. No, like I've never made like a face covering like luchador mask. I've made like COVID masks. I've made literally one. I need to make more, but. Actually, maybe I don't because technically since I'm vaccinated, I don't have to wear a mask when school starts back up. So that's cool. Mm, I think I want to do it. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so we need this and this and five centimeters. Oh yeah, this is not wide enough. That's okay. So this can hug this edge. And this can do the same. Then... Five... Oh, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Okay, what? Are you going to have in-person classes now? Yes, and I hate it. I'm so upset about it. Well, this, you make a UPS uniform with the potato fabric, except that UPS stands for underground potato storage. And the uniform is really made for going into a potato cellar. Does that, does that require special clothing? Why? They're about to go back to masks indoors here because of the Delta variant. Blech. No more sweaty pit streams. I know, I know. There's one clip. There's one clip of Ben. Ben's sweaty armpit biology videos. There's one clip and it's like totally like a nothing clip. I think Elbows Dodos made that clip and it was one of those like clips where there's nothing happening, but I, le I left it. I didn't get rid of it. Sometimes if there's like a clip that's like what what's happening and the person like didn't know what they were doing, sometimes I'll get rid of them. But I, I left that one because I know that people have fond memory. <laughs> I do need some other science, but those would be in person, probably. If it's chemistry, it'll be in person, which is fine. I really like chemistry. Chemistry like makes sense in my brain. It's really nice. I think a potato face covering would be cool too. You do put potatoes in your mouth, so it makes sense, kind of. Kind of. It does not require special clothing, but imagine how cool you would feel when people see you coming out from the house in a potato uniform and see you march towards the potato cellar door. <laughs> I'm so glad that you were able to join us this morning, this stream, Kapula. You're a, a treat. It's always guaranteed to be a good time. Okay, five by 60. <gasps> Lovey Felix, ooh wee I don't know if I even said that right. Hi, hi, welcome in. How's it going? How are we all? What are your pronouns? <gasps> Thank you for asking. Uh, I don't think anyone's actually like asked me in person. I don't think anyone's ever ex asked me on stream like what my pronouns are. Um, she, they, she, her, they, all of those. All of those are good. I think they would be like she, they is more preferable, but I know that's hard to remember. So it's, yeah. Thank you for asking though. That's so nice. And I see yours are he, they, cause you have the pronoun, um, Chrome extension. Excellent. Excellent. Love to see that. Pronouns are important, people. 
five centimeters. I don't know what fuck. I don't know what five centimeters is in inches. I also don't know if I'm following the grain line again. And I can't tell. Oh, I can tell what the other other piece of this fabric. Does it stretch this way? I don't know. Yes. Okay. So the grain is that way. Well, these pieces are not going to be on the grain because I don't have enough fabric for that. But maybe it was just like on the bias. Let me check. Grain line should be across the strip. Okay. Well, it's just not going to happen. Just not going to happen. All parts of hat you need duplicate. All parts of hat you need duplicate using fusible interfacing. Only a long strip does not need to be double. What? I don't even know what that means. I'll try my best. I'm also being way too loud at 6 a.m. on a Saturday eating cereal. Oh my gosh. So are you in the UK then, Felix? Um the grain parallel to the selvage. I don't know. So here's our selvage. And if I'm going parallel, it's not stretching. But if I go this way, it it stretches more this way. Uh, what kind of hat? Here is a photo. This is the only photo that was on the website where the pattern came from. Well, that kind of hat. Um, I'm just skimming this thing. I don't think it's written very well. I also need to cut a lining parts of feasible interfacing also. Okay. Hmm. This will be interesting to get into more. Maybe they're saying I need like double the pieces because... Okay, so there's two of these, two of these, and one of those. That's great. And then paperboy hat. Yeah, like a newsy cap or gap, gap B hat or flat or I don't know. There's a bunch of different names. That's what we're working with. Um, so they sew those pieces. Okay. I want to see what they are getting at with the liner. Hmm. And okay. This flat cap has a lining fabric. No shit. So the lining parts are identical to the outer parts. Use the caps pattern for cutting lining. Okay, so you use something else to do the lining and it's just a different fabric. Theirs is all like silky. I don't have anything like that. We're gonna wing it once we get there. I can close that, we have pizza, okay. Mm, I'm a UK boy. Excellent. Welcome. Are you in London or, or like England or which part of England? If you are in England or you're in like Scotland, Wales, uh, Ireland, one of those. I don't know. Paper boy. Peaky blinders. That's a show. I don't know anything about it, but yes, I know that's a show and I know that guy wears that kind of hat. I don't know what it's about though. The most important question, is this potato flat cap worn seriously or sarcastically? That is up to the wearer. This is a prototype. A prototype because Cage asked me a while ago if I could make a hat. And I told him that I did not know if I could make a hat. But that I would try to I would try and find out and let him know if I am capable of making a hat. So we're finding out if I can make hats. Um oh, that's right. I was like, I need to blah 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 do this thing by this thing i mean i wanted to kind of square this to make sure that it's it's fairly even it's even enough it's even enough five by 60. up in scotland ooh, excellent excellent i have, I have some people in scotland i'm a big fan I immediately had like six different thoughts about Scotland run through my brain, so 
I just decided to not say any of them. Because I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure that these are all things that annoy people who actually like live in Scotland. And I try really hard to never be um, like a shitty, ugly American who asks people in other countries stupid fucking questions. Because when I live in a different country, I fucking hate that shit. People are ignorant and I am not. So I try not to ask dumb questions or things that might be dumb questions. Anyway. That's enough about that. Potato hat, am I right? That's a clear line. Unless I wasn't making that on the five. Hmm. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Good, good. Maybe about there. This is probably longer than 60 centimeters. That's okay though. What? What did I miss? I have 100% faith in your capability to make a hat. Capullo, you're so nice, even though you use really disgusting emotes. But thank you for your confidence. That's really nice. Potato hat would be great for potato festival. Oh, I'm sure there are potato festivals. There has to be. There has to be. If there's like a garlic festival and a lilac festival and a lavender festival and all kinds of other things festival, there's absolutely at least one potato festival and I want to go to it. Don't there should be. Yeah, french fries should exist. Duh, baked potato chips. Reasons to wear potato design hat. Yeah, baby. Yes, you fucking nailed it. What? Mood, TBH, but say it. No. Down to answer any questions. Shoot them at me. No, I don't want to ask dumb. <laughs> Disgusting emotes. You know. I've been to the garlic festival here. Oh, lucky. And they're an American city proud of their potatoes. Oh, I'm confident there is. And I, I'm sure there's several potato festivals that happen in Idaho because they're like the potato state. Gilroy Garlic Festival? Oh, I don't know. I want to go to a garlic festival. I fucking love garlic. And then, like, if everyone's been eating garlic at the garlic festival all day, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you kiss somebody and it's like, oh, garlic. No, because then it's like, yay, yum, delicious garlic. And then it, it like, no one cares. Priorities or something. Okay, so those are five, and we need 60 centimeters. We have that one, and that one, we can connect them. And connect those. la dee da Okay, so, but then, if this is 30, then 60 is going to be way over here. No, <gasps> this is not enough for 60. Oh, fuck, I have to add on. <laughs> Oops, I don't, I don't remember the circumference of my skull. I think... I just know I wear, like, a medium-sized helmet. Well, fuck. Um... This emote is also marked as gift. Yeah, that's still, like, less offensive looking. I, I get it. I can see why it has that name. The other one's just really gross, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Idaho, that's the potato place. It was kind of shitty, but also amazing. Only because- Garlic ice cream, what? Uh, I don't know. That might be something that I- I don't know if I'd be okay with. 
because garlic it's like the ultimate savory and that's like a really warm taste flavor i don't know if i could do that i don't know if i could do ice cream the whole state fair is potato themed exactly i'll take a neutral approach if i get meth slap me but i love answering questions oh my gosh do um i'm gonna i know the answer is yes it has to be yes but like is it, is it really obnoxious when people are like, yeah, my family has a castle in Scotland somewhere because, like, somebody in their ancestry has, like, they've, like, traced shit back and there's, like, a castle with the family's name on it? Because I think that would be super stupid and annoying. Why wouldn't wear a potato pattern hat if you're the one building the world's largest potato gun at the Idaho State Fair? I mean, it all makes sense. I've used Twitch for one and a half years, and this is the first time I'm hearing anyone describe the gas emote as offensive or disgusting. Really? Maybe? Maybe you don't get out much. I don't know. I'm sure in, like, gamer channels, they're all like, yeah, pog, poggles, whatever the fuck they say. <laughs> don't know. Um, but this is not that. This will never be that. I say, as even just today, someone was like, you've been playing a lot of games recently on stream. And I'm like, well, it just happened that way. It wasn't on purpose. Fuck, I have to iron this one again. Fuck. Is it black garlic kind of sweet? Oh, I don't know. Definitely haven't. I don't think I've tried that. I thought the same thing with the ice cream. I was willing to give it a free sample a try. That's fair. Holy shit. It doesn't make sense, but it's so good. Ah. I don't know. I would be very nervous. But you're right, a free sample is probably something that changes a lot of minds. It's an official Twitch email, so if you have to email them if you want to get rid of it. I mean, I'm not, I have many other hills to die on. No one has ever said that to me. Really? I don't know if I'm honest. Be honest. All I request is honesty here. I mean, I might request a couple things like pronouns, but we just appreciate honesty. I mean, it's a bit annoying when I'm like, it, one in 50,000 Scottish. Yeah, it's super dumb when Americans are like, yeah, I'm like 127th Scottish. Like, get, just shut the fuck up. That makes me want to punch people. Like, you're fucking white. You're American. You don't have any fucking culture. Shut up and sit down. But I've never heard someone say they have a castle in their family. There's a castle with like one of my family names on it, but I don't actually know like if anyone owns it who is like even related to our family. I don't fucking know. Um, I get it. I have to plug in the iron. Wish me luck. Okay, I will get the power strip and bring it upstairs. I promise, just not today. Why am I sitting down? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of friends are here. Kate, Thick, Van Bigby, Kipoli, Queen, Kuipo, and Bakos, and High Score Run. Oh, hello. Hello, hey, Danny. Hi, friend. Socks, 521, Kupo, and RD642. Fabulous. Poggles. I don't I don't know the lingo, okay? Americans deadass stole UK culture. They just remixed it. Any other questions? Off the top of my head, not entirely, no. Which part of UK culture? Well, I mean, America is a melting pot of things, but most American culture things are based in European cultures. See what ads on Facebook or whatever trying to sell you a square foot of land in Scotland? Claiming it legally gives you the title of Lord. I don't think I've seen that one. That sounds like a, like a riot. I also 
have gone through I don't spend much time on Facebook but I also have gone through the effort of like depersonalizing ads and like minimizing all of that as much as I can because I hate ads this? I want to click on the thing what is it like a dragon the dreamer oh it's cute the dreamer's slumber whatever okay Did that. Cool. Now what? 20 campaign battles. Hmm. Versus pit fighter. I don't know what the fuck that is. Who cares? No, not that. This one. All right. Thanks for the hydrate socks. <laughs> yeah, um, Paul, I can't help you with your, your weird Facebook ads. I don't know anything about that, but sounds, sounds legit. Sounds super legit. Has anyone heard about a scam about a huge inheritance and people looking for all the people with a certain surname to see if they qualify? I don't think so. I don't think so, but that could just be another branch of the Nigerian prince tree. British parts they make fun of us for. What? They stole it and made it better. I'm not even sure what that means. Oh, that would be dope. If it's not too expensive, a lower title would be fucking hilarious to put on a document. Oh my god. I like personalizing my ads and making the weirdest shopping searches just to give them false info because I'm weird like that. Get your joy where you can find it. The only reason I would study for a PhD to have people call me doctor. Fair. If I could make people call me Lord, I would do it. Wait, Clyde, didn't you do that? You told me some story about like your middle school math teacher. Or was it King? It was something dumb like that. And I was like, you're unnecessary. Seems like Facebook ads are for backpacks, sling bags, wallets, and restaurants. Hmm all the time forever or just recently algebra 2 oh my god unnecessary okay i need to figure out how long this is so then i can add on to it y'all are distracting that's okay though that's why we're here isn't it i like that people are hanging out and chatting it makes me really happy that's 30, and this is 24 and a half ish. Okay. Snip a little bit here. Like in America, they make fun of us for drinking tea and stuff, but like they stole that and then stop doing it. Oh, and then wait, and then stop doing it as a power move. Are you sure? I've never heard of this from this perspective, but I mean, your feelings are valid. I just haven't heard of any of this, so that's interesting. I mean, did they steal the tea or did they reclaim tea in their own way with the whole Boston Tea Party thing? So we only need like six centimeters more. I mean, the British stole tea from somewhere else, but that's not the point. Yeah, the British stole tea when they colonized India. I guess I have to do... I don't want to cut the non salvage Fuck. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a solution. First, iron this. I will figure it out one day. <laughs> Today is not the day. Tomorrow doesn't look good either. I can't think of anyone I know who really cares about doing power moves to the British at this point in time. That's what I was thinking, Bigby. Like, I don't I don't know if that's really a thing currently. Americans much more prefer to be racist than they, like, would ever bother to take the time to, um, sort of, like, rag on England for anything. If they can even find it on a map, because Americans are dumb. Let's be honest here. They dumb. If they can find it on a map, I just don't know if they would be that hard-pressed to 
make fun of anything because again the americans would much rather take the easy way out and just be racist and shitty okay so we will go we'll go like that much over That sucks, it's just gonna be cutting out like one little corner. Oh well. Wait, what? If that's five, I fucked up somewhere. Oh joy. That's five. No, that, okay. I didn't have it lined up, my bad. One day, I will do things right the first time. This ain't it. I think that is a good, is a good thing to do predictions on going forward. Who will remember that? Not me. Not me. Let me um catch up, sorry. Gotta say, Erin Brew looks really good. I really need to see if we can get over here. Uh, that's beer, right? I don't keep up on beer since I can't really drink it anymore. I was like just starting to really get into beer when I had to stop drinking it. I think the Boston Tea Party is the power move. They dumped like a shit ton of tea into the ocean to be dicks. Sounds like the American way. The dumping was the power move and now they mock us. I don't, dude, I really, I don't really don't know anybody who like spends time i can't remember the last time i've heard even in like media i can't remember ever hearing anyone being like haha yeah fuck those brits or anything like that so i don't know where this is coming from but it's cool i think my country is too busy hating on each other to care about the british at this time that's what i was saying americans would much rather be racist and take the easy way out because they're fucking lazy had it before it wasn't bad at all what is it if it's not beer what is it and their christmas ads why are their christmas ads great i've heard of it much as i'd love to say not all of us drink it we do we absolutely do it's the best how dare you no i'm kidding thanks for using the um sarcastic font for that one i usually understand usually soda what a fizzy drink wait seriously is it i feel like the only people i've heard talk about it are like friends of mine who are super into beer and they like go to these other states and like stand in line for six hours to get like fancy limited edition beer i thought it was beer <laughs> hey, historian type i've never heard anyone mock the british for the tea party thing if they did they were more or something scottish soda what literally google it Okay, I'll try to remember that. I'm not gonna remember. That would definitely be something that I'd be like, hey, post that in Discord and I will read about it later. Somebody was really into like fancy soda before, like a few months ago. There was somebody and like, right after they joined Discord, they posted stuff about like fancy, like fizzy soda things. But I don't know who it was. I'm trying to remember back. I remember the post, but I don't remember who said it. And the hindsight part of my brain has an idea of like who might have said it, but I don't want to guess and be wrong. If they think Amber is beer, don't tell them let them be dumb. Who is they? It's me. I'm the one who like thought it was beer. The people who I'm friends with, I'm sure they know what it is. They're not idiots. But like they usually are talking about fancy beers. So that's why I thought that it was beer. It's funnier to see someone try to get a buzz off of Amber than tell them, oh, I bet. That would be quite hilarious. They didn't just dump the tea, they sank the ship like a giant tea bag. Right. Um, I think, I feel like maybe that, sh that ship has sailed. <laughs> I'll be here all week. But I don't know. I think the whole like debate over it is kind of strange because really like Americans don't care that much about anything. 
they are going to be as lazy as possible. I feel like I wish I had more of a scrap to use for that little strip. Mm, where did it go? Oh. oh well, I just cut more. Imagine your friends talking about beer. Let them believe that if that's what they think. No, they. I'm sure that they know what it is. I was like listening to them talking about random things. Like we were not all having a conversation. They were like, it was like at a party ages ago, like two years ago probably. And they were talking about different beers and I recall that name coming up I am very confident that they know what is or is not beer <laughs> felt so juvenile typing that out <laughs> oh they teabagged the bay <laughs> it's okay Bigby we're we're all 14 year old boys on the inside every single one of us This is what I'm after. And I said I, I said it before, I'll say it again. Friday night streams are the best. Everyone like I feel like everyone's always in a good mood. And people are chatty and it's just really nice. And I love Friday night streams. So thanks. Thanks everybody for being here and making this possible. While I'm thinking of it. Um, does that fit there? I guess so. Aw, Fluffy Felix. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the garden. You are among friends. We tend to have a good time here. I do a lot of random shit, and apparently people like me enough to go along with it. Willingly or otherwise. <laughs> I say because I'm sure, I'm sure when Christian was like, oh, this chick is doing furniture stuff in her garage and having all sorts of struggles. And then you hung around and we're here now. But I bet back then you never thought you'd be where we are today or that like that you'd be modding a pool stream. Like what? I'm sure you didn't envision that for yourself, but thanks for taking along for the ride. What? What? That's because most of our somehow plastered more than an 18. Cage, you're not making sense. <laughs> How high are you right now? I realized I wasn't following and I was like, what am I doing? I should be following. Correct. I'm so glad you are. You have made the right choice, my friend. We have a great community and we have a good time. And you are fitting right in. You were studying when I started watching, which is even weirder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my whole, oh, that's right. Because my whole thing, when I got the idea to start streaming, my whole thing was that, like, I had read something about some guy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Pattern matching. Oh, look at that. I kind of fucked it up because it's not, like, flush with each other, but... Damn, that looks really good. And it's going to be on the inside, so it's fine. Um, anyway... Yeah, I had read something about like, oh, there was some guy who just streams himself doing math homework. And so I was like, well, fuck, if some guy can stream, if people want to watch some person do math homework, then I can totally stream and do homework. So that was my original plan. I was just going to stream and stream myself doing schoolwork homework. And then I was like, well, wait a second. <laughs> we could do, we can do more than that. So then I think I did a couple, I think I did a few cross-stitch streams because I was finishing the baby sampler 
and then we did um, furniture restoration in the garage. And we didn't even do a good job of it. We just got all the white paint off of that fucking desk and cursed Pam a whole bunch. And I still have that desk. It's going to be more like a workbench. So it'll be featured in the next installment of Snow Pea Dust Furniture. What? Remember the study streams. Yeah. Wait. Baby, what is your follow age? Following? You've been following since February 15th. You came in on the birthday stream when we were like playing games, I think. And you came in through Stream Raiders too. But these, Christian is talking about like the old, old, old study streams. No, it's hi. How are you? Stupid giggling. What? I missed something. Clyde, why are you cheering bits? Why? Thank you. Stop it. <laughs> I'm pretty up there. Not sure if my balloon hit the stratus yet. <laughs> Keep me semi updated. I have lucid moments. I'll say that. Proud of you, bud. Proud of you. Good job, bub. Five months, 15 days, six hours. Stream readers. I do remember study streams. Yeah, those would have been the Ben, the sweaty armpit study streams. Before that, like last, last fall, we did like environmental science and ecology streams and those were really awesome. Yeah, Kapuli and Clyde came in at the same time. Yours is April 10th, 2021. And, oh, Clyde was a little bit before you, April 4th, 2021. Nice. What? Oh, <laughs> Kapula, I clicked on yours and I was confused for a second. It was like, account created April 19th, following since April 10th. What? How did you follow before your account was created? <laughs> Different years. Different years. Um, how high are you? Hi, how are you? No. Wait, how high are you? Hi, how are you? No? Okay, I get it now. I get it. Sometimes it takes me a minute to catch up. I remember coming in and asking what you were doing for 420. I don't remember that, but I am not surprised in the least that you asked that of all people. Of all people. I knew what she meant. She already said hello three hours ago. I never left. Cage never leaves. And he always reminds me of that. in good fun. Mm. Okay, so we have this strip of fabric, which is 30. And now, now it's more than 30. That's okay. I need to stop sitting down because if I sit down, I don't work as well. Like I don't work as efficiently. And I know that's a problem that I have, like, once I'm standing up, I don't sit down, but it's just the way that it, it's okay. Cool. Cool story. No one asked for Got it. One, two, three, short. What the fuck? Oh, uh, that's what we're doing. Okay. No, wait. Whoa, dropping. I have a drop counter, by the way. Exclamation mark drop, Christian. Can you do that? Or big be one of you. Otherwise, I'll have to drop something else to come and say if we overcount. I was looking at um, like my stream element stuff the other day, and I was like, oh yeah, I I have a drop counter. We never use it. It's it's way off. Yeah, it's way off. Because I've definitely dropped plenty of things over the months, and they have gone unreported. Whoops. I guess. I guess. We documented the important things, like the bear attacks and the wolf attacks. 
priorities. We have them in the right order, I think. Mm -hmm. I added an extra one. Yeah, I saw that. That's okay, because there's been who knows how many that have been unaccounted for. The what now? The what? Um, Might be under. What under? What? I didn't think it would work. Oh, I don't have it restricted to mods only, because... What sometimes Christian is not around, rare, but sometimes he's not around, and sometimes Bigby's not around. So, like, if somebody else is hanging out and I need to count, then I can have somebody else do it. Are you going to play the bear challenges? Oh, underreported. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, so, feel, do you want me to call you Fluffy or Felix? Do you have a preference? Um, so, um, on Wednesdays for my Wednesday streams. I usually play a game, and for a long time I've been playing a game called The Long Dark, which is a survival game which puts you in like North Canada wilderness, so you have to survive against like the winter elements and the wildlife like bears and wolves that attack you and can kill you, and you have to find food and all this stuff. You can't just drop bear attack and wolf attack without context. I mean you can, but Yes, I'll explain it. Um, so it gets kind of extensive. <laughs> um, so there's a story mode in the game, and that's what I had been playing. And so we had a counter going for all the times I got attacked by wolves and all the times I got mauled by a fucking bear. If you're interested in the bear attacks, check out the clips section of my channel. <laughs> there are some doozies in there. Good God. Um... So then after you do the storyline or story mode, there's just regular survival mode, which is what I will be doing next. But there's also survival challenges. So they're like survival things, but with specific objectives to try and complete. And there's not one, but there are two different survival challenges that are just about the fucking bear. And that is so terrifying. I don't know. Like, I don't want to do those because fuck that. That bear is awful. But I also, like, low-key kind of want to. <laughs> that might be, like, a channel points reward thing or something. I don't know. It's going to take some incentive on my part to do it. To put myself through that. But I'm not completely opposed to it. Fluffy or Felix either is fine. All right, cool. Um, Felix, I don't know, I don't know if you are a Discord person, if you have Discord or if you like using Discord, because those are not always the same. Um, but if you like using Discord, we have a very active Discord community, and you're welcome to join us there if you would like. Um, all we ask is that if you click that link, it'll take you to a channel called Pronouns. And all I ask is that you set your pronouns in that channel, and that will give you access to the rest of the server. Oh, you started doing the first bear one? Oh, when did you start that? Did you just start that like the other day, or have you done it like before in the past? Horrible. The mauling animation is, it's just so awful. They did a very, very good job with it. It's terrifying. Lots of screaming happens. Uh, I don't, I just don't know if I'd be able to do it. We would have, like, I'd, if I did that, I'd have to, like, take, like, set breaks or something and, like, I don't know, I'd have to, like, take some kind of pill or something to, like, <laughs> be able to handle it for long hours. I don't usually use Discord often other than to get live alerts, but I will join. Okay. I'm hoping maybe we can coax you out of your shell and get you to chat there. Live alerts um, in my channel, they're not really a thing because I don't like them. I think they're like junk mail. And most of the time people don't look at those. 
but in my discord it's set up so that if someone does stream then they if they go live then their name will be in red and in the sidebar in the sidebar there is a indication of who is currently streaming so it's easier to see and you don't have to dig around in a channel and also um what is the also also it stays that way the whole time they're streaming instead of just one alert when they start and then it's like two hours later and you're like are they still on i don't know now you know and it's it's just better i've never done it i've only done a couple of challenges okay the dark walker is also terrifying yeah i saw that one and i like that one looked really intense and then the um the, um, there's a challenge that's like, it's the only one that's on interloper. I can't remember what it's called, but it's really, it's like, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you like as the player are dead, it's something to do with like death or something, or you're slowly dying. I don't know. I think I found my problem with stream cord. What is it? What is it? What is it? Tell me. It hates you like so much. As the dead sleep. Yeah. Thank you. That's the name. Oh, this, well, this will be a tight fit. Um, um, uh, it's hanging off the edges. That's not good. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Uh, we'll go this way. Big B, you're hitting the bed, feeling tired. Have a good night. Good night, everyone else. Good night, Mod Christian. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks for adding me on that, Big B, because you and Christian's name are the same blue, and I might have missed it otherwise. So thank you for that. And thank you for hanging out and being your wonderful self. It's always great to have you with us. Sleep well, get some rest, and we'll see you around. Hello, it's hard to smile, friend. I like that song so much. Unironically, I would grab my headphones, but it's gonna be done. Can you even hear it? You might not even hear it because of the music. Sorry about that. But thank you for playing it. I can't even hear it. That's my bad. There's music playing, sorry. My Twitch account forgot the Discord authorization. What? It's okay. Well, I feel a little bit bad, but it just happens that way with with music and stuff, I think. All right, off you go. Get some sleep. You know where to find us. Um... So Christian, you're saying like your Twitch account and your Discord account were no longer linked or what? Because when I looked on your profile, it says, it shows like the link to Twitch. Unless there's like a discrepancy in your like Twitch account settings or something. This is going to move. Fuck. Things I don't want it to do. Move. I checked if I had my Twitch account connected and it was, but I clicked the icon and asked to authorize again. Oh, that's interesting. Was this like within the browser, like within Twitch or was this within Discord that you found that out? Or that you went and were like reconnecting the buttons. If 
And I'm cutting this, not cutting this, I'm, this is getting marked on like the outside of the cutout, not just where the pattern piece itself ends, but it'll be fine. Something weird must have happened because the Twitch app logged me off my tablet. Oh, that's so weird. But I'm glad you kind of figured something out. We're checking your Discord settings. Oh, okay. Huh. I will um, be eager to see if that works like next time that you stream. Do you know when that when you're going to stream next? just out of curiosity. Okay, so we got that one added and I need to do this fucking piece, but it's too small. Why did I do that? That was dumb. Probably tomorrow. Okay. Like afternoon. I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. Which one gets us across the map quicker? Four, four. Oh, we're going to go across the top. Definitely. Lots of fours on top. Afternoon. Okay. I was going to do it today, but my sister is vacuuming. It happens. That's all right. What is my lowest level thing? Let's place that. Oh, it's all of these. Hmm. Nope, wrong scene, sorry. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do for this piece is I'm going to like cut, I don't know, I want to like cut it and like pattern match it to make it fit. Even if that means like fusing the pieces together, because if I take this stuff up here, should work should work so that means more clips <laughs> that is here we go. Fluffy Felix. Yay, you are in. That, that. Is there anything else? I don't think there's any other rolls that you need. I will give you this other roll. There's a roll that I made and I don't remember why I made it. It was like some four o'clock in the morning thing after rehashing rolls for several hours. <sighs> So I keep applying it to everyone, but I forget why I made it. Vacuuming, afternoon, and then that's not even a person's message. Cool. It's cool. Um, so yes, I'm gonna clip this in place, actually. First, I'll just disconnect that from the fabric, and then we can have a more accurate template. And it'll still stick. I just need a little sliver. This will work just fine. Just fine. Mm. So I guess I can cut. 
that way. And then I'll add a tiny piece there. Almost not enough to matter, but it, it is enough to matter. So yeah. Will the pattern match? I doubt it. Let's see. I'm high enough to want to watch Spaceballs. A decent metaphor. Uh, I think I've watched Spaceballs like once. Yeah, if I do it, it's not going to match, but it really, the prototype, it doesn't matter, right? Just trying to double check. Yeah, I think if we do that, it should be okay. At that end. Um, oh, shit, I need to do that on the inside, though. If I'm merging them. Yeah, we do that on the inside, so then it's not visible. And then the other piece here. Snip, and then snip again. I was going to have an edible earlier and I didn't do it. I need to do that. Here's the pin. not how that goes. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> that really was for your enthusiasm, Clyde. Okay, so that piece there. Undo this one. Where did it go? Fucking invisible, so it's easy to lose it. I just cut it. I cut the piece of the stuff. Oh, it fell on the floor. That would do it. How many edibles have you had, Clyde? goes up there so where the hell oh here is the piece that I was just looking for no edibles many joints okay Amazon says my area doesn't get space balls so that's weird I thought space balls was for everyone it's old like maybe they should stop keeping that like I don't understand why they'd hold that back from anyone I lost that fucking piece of stuff again. It's very small. Why? Not on the floor. Mm. There's that one. Which is where it's supposed to be. Where the fuck is the other one? What the shit? Why do I lose everything? It's gonna end up being somewhere really stupid. This is not it. Okay, well that's really annoying. Fuck oh, you, Brassus. Wow. Old as balls. What? What? What are you talking about? Is that like a Spaceballs thing? Because I, again, I think I watched it like once. I don't, 
know enough to quote anything from that movie. Okay, so we cut a new piece. This will go here. Out of market. What market? It's a fucking old movie. I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm fully agreeing with you. It's an old movie, like I don't understand why they would be restricting it. Oh, you said the movie was old. Oh, and then you said old as both. I get it now. God damn it. The fucking iron turned off again. Ugh. Ow! <laughs> Don't mind me. I hit my head on the desk. That's gonna... N okay, well it didn't even stick. Oh, for are you serious? Eh, no, this is bad. I didn't realize that I had picked up this piece. And it left the adhesive shit on the iron. So I have to cut yet another piece. I can't find the one that I cut the first time. And then that one just got melted. Mm. Maybe one day I'll get it right. Maybe. Try that. They have a value pack that comes with Galaxy Quest and Spaceballs, but not on Friday. You'd have to buy a Blu-ray set. Dude, just torrent the movie. Pirate bait that shit. That's what anyone else would do. Rarely they have that many leftover copies. You'd probably re-release it at a certain point, I would think. Yeah, that doesn't look great, but again, prototype, it's fine. Totally fine. That is there. Probably should be checking this as I as I'm laying these out. What the shit? Don't tell me I just did this wrong twice. How in the fuck? This is too low. Are you kidding me? Why am I so incapable? <laughs> so that's there. This goes here. Okay, so it's fine. I just have to move this one up. I did not eyeball it correctly. Because that's why I don't eyeball things, because I'm terrible at it. You're right, I should just say screw it and don't it. But I'm not sure if it's worth the effort. But torrenting is so easy. There's no effort involved, dude. It's basically effortless. Okay, so this needs to be on the corner. Jesus. One day I'll figure it out. There we go. Finally. I'll straighten this up and do the same thing over here. I mean, it's safe to say we're not going to be doing any sewing tonight, <laughs> but 
that's what Sunday is for, I guess. Okay, so now, uh huh, uh huh, yes, this looks much better. So that can sit there and there. Fantastic. That's that's what I'm actually after. Now it all fits. It sits. Yay. So now we'll trace this. It's probably something else I'm forgetting, but I don't know what it is. The liner I don't want to deal with right now. I will retrace and cut that out some other time. What I had actually hoped for was like I would love to find pattern for a hat but if it was like a clearly marked pattern that isn't just someone's hand-drawn sharpie thing put onto a computer um because then I could I just want to run the pieces through the cameo and have it cut them out for me that's really what I want it would be so much faster but then I realized all these people are just making their own patterns for this hat, so it would be more work for me to go through and vectorize their Sharpie pattern. I have, what? The thing to get the thing? I have, oh, you downloaded the thing to get the thing, like BitTorrent or whatever. I would rather just scroll down the page at 15,000 other movies I wouldn't mind watching. Well, it's your life. If you would rather scroll down the list of possibilities than mm, actually picking one, do it. Your life, your choice. If that's what is working for you, then do it. It also really is like, I mean, if you really have to scroll, try Control F. Find things faster. I really need to take that edible instead of talking about it and I'm not doing it. Also another stream craft activity we need to do is I need to redo the book. My hollow book where I keep my weed. I bought it and it like somebody had already fucked it up, but I would like to like unfuck it and make it look nice. I can't decide if I wanted to like design my own dust jacket for it or if I want to like get a dust jacket of like some Russian classics or something and like adjust it to make it fit this book. Russian classics or like some other really smart thing. I think that would be fun. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing I need to do real quick. Which is okay, pill, and then edibles after that. Let's finish um, tracing. Christian, do you know, like, back to this bear challenge thing, why are there two? I forget the description of 
I forget the specific descriptions, but I know, I know the first one was like, hunt the bear before the bear hunts you, which is like, fuck that, but also like, okay. Um, but then there's a second one, and I don't understand the premise of the second one. I had started doing the buffer memories one, but then I stopped because I was reading on like forums and people were talking about how the buffer memories takes forever and ever and ever. And then I was like, I don't actually know what buffer memories are. And there's a bunch of other like survival mode stuff that I don't even know what they are. Like all the surveying shit or like episodes. Yeah. I know they're like episodes. That part was not, that part was not confusing. Lurk, dinner. Wait, what is for dinner? Clyde, rules, you must tell us. What are you having for dinner? Uh, if you say Chipotle, then that's a problem. Okay, so now we'll have two of these each. Good, good, good. What is pattern matching? I don't know. Wing stop. Ooh, are you getting lemon peps? Lemon peps and garlic parm. So good. Also, 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 please tell me that you eat your wings with the bone in. I. I hope I don't have to be disappointed. A few lemon peps high in kitchen. Nice. Good choices. Bone in only way. Okay, good. Good. I I thought it was safe to to assume because like our brains are the same. But I had to check. So you pass. Heart is boneless. Well no comment. I just, I just have opinions about, I, I do kind of judge people who eat boneless wings. They're just chicken nuggets at that point. Like, come on. I hope they release the third one with episode four. Wait, the third, like, bear specific challenge? What? That seems like too much. But I am intrigued by them, I'll be honest. Okay, enjoy your dinner, Clyde. We will see you when you are done, whether here or on Discord. Now I'm kind of brainstorming like, okay, if we have to cut out the same number of pieces, I think, for the liner of the hat, then um trying to like brainstorm like what type of fabric would be a good liner for this obviously the answer is like something else potato themed but i don't think there's enough potato fabric for that but i will cut as much out of potato as i can and the lining is going to probably be regular fabric for this because this is the prototype Assuming it all works well, then whenever I make the real hat, I'll use something better and more appropriate for the liner. But Cage, you said you wanted a hat like this, but you wanted it to be like breathable, like summer fabric. So that'll be interesting. The second one ends in a cliffhanger. So the second bear challenge ends in a cliffhanger? What, what is the cliffhanger? And I'll totally ask because I like spoilers and I don't know if I'm ever even going to play that version. And I like that you know. Even though, like, you haven't finished it either, right? Because you were saying... I thought you said you just started one of them. So, that's okay though. That you look things up or whatever. What am I saying? Who cares? Oh, you have more reference photos. Send them. Please send them to me. I would love to have them. That would be really helpful. Okay, we've got pieces cut out. Oh, 
The bear drags you into the cave. Like before, like in like in the story. You get mauled and dragged in there. What what is this bear's obsession with like dragging you back into its cave? Like, can it not get enough? I'm gonna put a couple more. I don't know. It probably doesn't matter, but I just want them to be ultra secure. Okay, so this and this we have, and we've got this and this is looking good. I realize this camera angle is not great. I apologize. Um, and then we have this piece. Are there really only five pieces? Let me check. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, and then this strip. No, that's not it. Here it is. This whole thing. Such patterns. Seam allowances should also be kept clean as show. Well, no shit. Um, and those were like 10 centimeters, so that's 2.2. So that's like half an inch. Roughly. Half an inch is more. Cool. Start sewing this hat with joining these details together as shown. Okay. I will use pins. We have clips in front of us, so we will use clips. I might know why I woke up early. The sunrise was at 4.52. However, it doesn't explain why the same did not happen yesterday. Maybe you were more tired yesterday? Or maybe because I wasn't streaming yesterday, so your brain wasn't like in tune and it didn't have a need to wake up that early. Obviously, I'm making that up. Oh, fucking serious. I can't have nice things. I can't do it. Can't fucking do it. Oh, these are supposed to go the other way. They're supposed to face this way, and then this one is supposed to face this way. But I got them wrong. Fan fucking tastic. Just do it. Just fucking do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Or something. I could hear it coming on, but then I couldn't hear it. Even though I'm not wearing the headphones, but we knew there was an issue with them because of the music. Hmm. Gonna check on that again. Sound alerts extension is at 300%. Monitor is off because I don't. Monitor and output. But monitor is off on the desktop audio, so I feel like whatever I have on for desktop audio is all it needs to be. Close that before I fuck anything up. This is beautiful. Par for the course. Did I use all the potatoes? I know I did not use all the potato fabric, but I don't know if there is enough to make a whole other piece of that. There is. Potato fans, you're in luck. Why, why, why am I like this? Anyone who thinks lack of executive function or being autistic is not a disability, well, you haven't spent the day with me. On top of myriad other reasons why. But this is a fucking shit show. I knew it would be. I knew it would be. Like, 
will I ever have a stream that's not some kind of misadventure? Probably not, and that's okay. Um, I need this one. So we're gonna keep the potato side, obviously. Okay, so that's how they're supposed to go together. This way. So... I don't know why these type of things are hard for my brain to, like, figure out. But this... Okay. Let's just trace the actual piece instead of picking up that. So this will go this way. Because... Yes. Okay. This way. Don't move. I say don't move and then watch me pick it up and move it in like two minutes. But also, is this wide enough for this? Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. Close enough and also fantastic. If I want that to go down the side, then all of that looks acceptable. Um, then that goes here, and then we need another square for this part. Scraps on scraps on scraps. But that's why I keep all the scraps of the interfacing, because Inevitably, I will need them. It's there. Um. Could have sworn I had like a bigger scrap piece of that but it's fine it's fine brb rude it's cool it's totally fine geocorn hello thanks for joining casimus ashlo fabulous here we go we do a thing Okay. Let me see. Um, if I just cut all these across, I can just add them back in. That stays like that. And we'll patch up these in between bits. Or, ooh, or we can do it this way. This is good. Yay, we won. No one doubted it. Oh, nice. What did I... I don't know, I leveled up, leveled up something or other. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one of... Oh, shit, that one. Ah, I placed the wrong thing. Damn it. Next time. All right, so let me cut some of this.
What a mess. <clears throat> then another one. I'm just going to do strips across the whole thing. And yep. Okay, we'll try this again. I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna have to use more of this, so I'm not gonna pin it. Because I'll lay out the adhesive and then put the material on top and then it'll be good. one okay so that works and I'll have to add a bit more I'll add some more up here This strip as well. So then, all we're waiting for. Oh, it's my contacts to not be blurry. I moved it. I moved it. I shouldn't have done that. Are these going to be opposite? I don't know. I think it was up here like this, right? Wait, that's that way. So let me look at the picture. As long as they're both potato fabric no they have they are directional so this is I don't know that's that way then this goes this way okay yes I am holding it correctly okay so then I'll just shove that on like there Fantastic. Two. I'm just not making these really that nice, but it's okay. It's more about just getting it done. Because I shouldn't have had to do this in the first place, but well, you know. Fourth piece. Oh, here it is. Okay. Do like with the other ones, set down the adhesive and then place the fabric interfacing on top of it. This is going to be slightly weird, but let me make sure I have it in the right spot because I don't want to get that wrong again. Okay, I need to go that way. A little bit. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'll allow it. This is going to be messy though because there's like adhesive that's not going to get covered. So I'm going to just try and get underneath there and snip it beforehand actually. Alright, 
So that's there. And okay, we'll try it. I'm just trying to stay away from the edge. Or I can just do this. I'll just put a scrap on the end. That should do it. Water. Water is not up there. Water's over here. I just really like the steam. The steam is so satisfying. Okay. All right. Yep, so this part starts to stick, which I don't want, but I'd rather it stick to the scrap fabric than to the iron. Yeah, and then it doesn't, it didn't leave any stickiness behind, so that's good. And I'll trim this excess off. Oh, yes. Actually, I'll just put this little like glue tab under there it doesn't really matter but it is a good way to use the little adhesive scraps rather than just throwing them away That looks okay. I'm gonna put the other adhesive over here. Because the actual um, template piece is gonna use that spot. Okay, folks, you're heading to bed. Have a good rest of stream. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been lovely. Get some rest. I'm surprised you lasted this long, honestly, but I guess you're in the same, you're in central also, so two o'clock on a Friday night. It's not so outrageous. But yes, thank you for hanging out. Have a great night. We'll see you around. Welcome back, Christian. Okay. I think this is an ex in an acceptable spot to now trace this piece. So we do that, that, all that, and those will be as they should. Good night. Um, I guess I'll pin it or clip it for now. Um, e sure. Sure, like that doesn't need to be perfect. I think three links is enough spamming of the live chat. What? Three links to what? I haven't, like, I haven't looked at Discord in a bit, so I don't even know what links you're talking about. over here trying to trace things which is not as easy as I wish it was why is it difficult I don't fucking know example of the hats Oh, I thought you were going to just message me with those because that's what you had done before, but you can throw them in the live stream chat. I don't care. If you have more than three, then you can send those in a direct message. Doesn't bother, doesn't bother me. No, oh, that's where one of, that's where that piece went when I was looking for the other adhesive. Found it. Got stuck to the paper from that temporary adhesive stuff. Uh, 
that spray adhesive. It's temporary, it's made for fabric. Um, so I guess when it's half fabric and half paper. Yeah, I really would love, love, love to be able to throw this into like Illustrator or anything and turn it into a vector. Then I can have the machine cut everything out for me. And that would just be so fast. And I, I would really be a fan of that. My contacts are so blurry. I cannot read your message, Gage. <laughs> I will, I'll read it in just a second. Yeah, that looks good. Eye drops, eye drops are in my pocket. Let me, let me put some eye drops in my face and then I will read, will be able to read your message. Go. Well, and then like it swims around for a bit, but I'll be able to see better afterward. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not crying. <laughs> Just kidding. In high school, a friend of mine would always do that. She wore contacts, but she would use eye drops all the time. I only use eye drops sometimes. Anyway, that she'd like put eye drops in her eyes and then she'd be like, uh -huh, I got dumped. I don't know why she did that or why she thought it was funny, but that was a thing. Um, okay, examples of the hats. Oh, it's the left one that's blurry. I was trying to share with the group to see if anyone else liked the style of hat. Okay, and not bombard your DMs either. That's fine, whichever way, Cage. I'm sure. The others um, will take a look at that when they happen to get on Discord next. Sometimes you can like rotate the contact lens itself and that helps. That did not help this time. We'll just give it time. Um, we'll see. Okay, let's cut out this piece. Then I can pin things or clip them together. So annoyed that I cut this piece the wrong way for, at first. But to be fair, their instructions, they didn't say anything about it because these instructions are not very well written. So I feel like any other blog person sharing this pattern would have said, oh, make sure that these are facing opposite directions so that the pieces make sense in the end. Page. Um, oh, I guess I should save that until we know if I can actually make a hat or not. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to need to know the circumference of your head for hat making, but don't worry about it right now. Because I'll ask you again when, if we successfully prove that I can make a hat. Okay, toss that. I don't know about that. Okay, so now, now we should be able to put these pieces together. Woohoo. Excellent. Oh, and that little patched piece, I think that'll be okay. It's barely going to be noticeable. I'll allow it. 
Okay, so these go together. Did a good job of cutting them out. If I do say so. So these, yep, they have them sitting like that. And then have it next to this piece, which would be inside out. And they have it like with these pieces together, which is tricky because like that curved part, just going with the flow, not in a hurry. Oh, I figured as much. I figured you appreciate it as well. Okay, so it's just these parts. It's not this seam, so I'm not going to clip on that side. Can I really only have three clips? Hmm. I thought I had more taken out of the box. Okay, that should be good, I think. Like that. And it sits like that, I guess. Hmm. So if that does that, then... Oh, that's the top of the hat, or the crown, I guess is what it's called. So this is the part that goes, like, on top of your head. Something like that. Except the opposite of that. Then you have that and that, and so you can join those seams, and then what? Make finishing stitches on these details as shown. Oh my gosh, what is this Chinese model, like mini, mini figure? No, like the real life house. What is this, a real life house paste as shown? Sew those together. Oh, they're just doing like the top stitching. But then what did they do? Oh, so I guess they're using this, I think, to go over the seams. They're using that to finish the seams. I think. Maybe not. Never mind. That's not what they're doing. Their seams are just really nice and mine aren't. It's fine. Um, okay, so they sewed. Oh, those go there. Cool. So this part wraps all the way around here that's gonna be cool i think my edible is kicking in because i'm like whoa <laughs> i think yeah that yeah because that's the end how the fuck is that gonna that'll be interesting for sure So you basically have to match up this um, flowy, like this flowy cut right here, I guess. It's matched up like this. What? I don't understand that at all. I mean, it's not important right now. That's weird. They are not going to even show me how they did that. God damn it. How lame. Okay. How did they do that? These get sewn together. And then that start over here. I guess I'll like eyeball the center part. Kinda, because it's not going to be exact. So then... This is... It's like just curved seams. Curved seams are just weird. So... I, don't know. I feel like I'm breaking these clips all the time. And I know I'm not. I feel like I am because they're really stiff. Because they haven't been used. Let's see. 
be kind of excited now that I understand how it fits together. like it's because this board is green that the camera's having an issue but like look why is it so red jesus on here the little plastic pointy bit from forming the plastic Ow, that's so sharp yuck oh, it was like getting a finger stick like a with a needle even legos don't hurt that bad when you step on them okay so still clipping the outside edges to see how it all fits or will fit or whatever oh let's start that up more Kinda cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is all gonna curve around. Like these are all gonna meet up. So weird. I'm really glad that I'm pinning this because future me is not gonna be able to come back to this and know what I was thinking at the time. It's tricky. Oh, well, that's not this type of sewing clips, but okay. Oh, there's a tape measure that comes in here. I didn't know that. I haven't hadn't gotten that deep into the box yet. So those are going to be the ones that will snip. When you sew around on curved seams, you snip it so it lays flat. Just at intervals. These clips feel like they're going to break all the time. Hmm. You need to watch the VOD later? What happened? What did I do? What? Why? Why? Huh? What was I talking about? Did I miss something? Did something like happen that shouldn't have happened? Or did I say something? Oh, for me to check how it goes together so you can remember what you're doing. Oh! <laughs> I had no idea. That makes a lot of sense. That's a great idea. Um, this is after I said earlier today that no one ever watches VODs for anything. Oh my gosh. You both like said it at once and I was really thrown off and I was like, oh my god, what happened? Did I like do something horrific and not even know? Did I like have a, have a stroke and forget where I was? But no, no, no. I didn't do anything unforgivable. This is my brain. Uh, I did not line this up correctly. Yep. And I'm not, I'm not fixing that right now. It'll get adjusted before I actually sew that part. A friend watched my vlog the other day, did they? That's nice of them. 
I know a couple times somebody has gone back and checked the VOD about like for a stream here or there, but it's just very rare. Seems like. I feel very supportive because no one does that. Yeah, it really is. It is like it's nice if you know that someone has done it. Absolutely. It is really nice because you're like, you took the time. My VODs are mostly expired now. Yeah, they don't stay for very long. That's okay. I mean, unless you download them and put them on YouTube or some other backup thing, but nobody watches the VODs. It doesn't matter. I do kind of wish that I had the VODs for my first streams because it would be fun to look back at some point and be like, oh, little baby me, I didn't know what I was doing. Or like seeing people's first streams ever, like that would be great. I've done it sometimes. It feels weird because I get the urge to comment. Yeah, I, get, I do that too. I get the urge to like say something in the chat, but like it, it doesn't go. <laughs> it should be in real time not in here's a thing that happened a while ago because that's for youtube that's not a twitch thing i mean you can upload other videos to your twitch channel so like they really i think we're trying to make it more um youtube-ish whenever they did that but nobody uses all of those features like some people do, and that's impressive, but I don't have that kind of time. More of these big ones. Okay, almost there. I'm gonna have to like make a note for myself so that I know that I need to redo these clips when I actually do get around to sewing it together. But I guess if I have to take it apart before that to do the other scenes, then it won't be an issue. Edibles in the right. <laughs> Good stuff. And go there. I keep grabbing these big clips and I don't want those. come back and do this much more nicely when the time comes. What? I tried to knock myself out with the tincture. It gave me a burst of energy instead. Sometimes it'd be like that. Maybe, maybe if you, I don't know, or like in a darker room with like quiet music or something, maybe that would help you relax and fall asleep with it instead of feeling energized. So sometimes you can change the mood. This doesn't quite look right either, but let's compare. Oh, uh, they had theirs done over this way. It would go like that. But this is the back. So these, this part will be flat. These are the sides where they meet. It makes sense. 
it might become a hat spill. Also nearly at Stratos level now. Does that mean you're just really high? Is that what you're getting at? So you do these and then these go on the front somewhere. We'll find out. Oh, there is a battle. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's go here. Okay. I'm back to Floaty and Weightless. Hey, congratulations. Pre congratulations, dude. I am. I'm happy for you. You deserve that. <laughs> um, Streamers battle. Probably not getting out of the chair. Oh, I don't blame you. Stay in the chair. one mm, we'll, do. we'll pop up to that four okay Pause this. Just there. Okay, so that's good. Um. Oh, it's also raining. No fucks given. Why I feel differently? That's okay. That's okay. What is this? This is interesting. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna raid. I need to go eat pizza. So. Um, we're going to raid what lettuce. I mean, I'm not usually on when he's on, so that's fun. He's working on his car. He's good people. Um, I'll be back Sunday. Come find me on Discord in between then. Okay, bye. I really did like peace out there, but it it time so. Bye. That's why we're going. All right. See you all later. Bye. Top of this, and you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to get it right in the middle. So uh, it's just so we don't have to wipe that dipstick off again. We leave it a little bit like this. Take our oil filler cap back off. And what's going on over here? Are we getting raided again? God dang, Snow Peep, my homie. How are you doing, Snow Peep? How is everything going? How are you, homie? How is your stream? So let me do the thing that needs to be done. And oh, bro, streamers, remember? No. Bam! Player makers and crafting love to see it. What were you working on tonight, Snow Peep? How is your evening going? I'm so good. What are you doing to your car? I'm not doing anything special, right? So if you do know Snow Peep, I have taken a little bit of a break from streaming. Um, I live in Las Vegas. It's very, very hot here. You can tell I'm like sweating profusely right now. Even streaming in the...